Yo, welcome back, chat. How are we all doing today? It is Friday, and we are streaming again. Yeah, back-to-back -back streams. Let's go. We are playing in another tournament. This one is a bit different, though. We are not playing in a standard tournament. We are playing in a post-rotation tournament. That's the plan. We're playing in a post-rotation tournament. You might be like, wait, what? We don't even have the new set out. Well, that's fine. We've done these before where we've played in tournaments that weren't standard uh, legal. And uh, we've done this before, and we'll do it again. And I'm excited for this tournament. Post rotation. Here we go. It's hosted by the Shuffle Squad. So I'm excited for this one. But yeah, what's up, chat? How are we doing on the Twitch and YouTube? There's a massive snowstorm tonight. So I wasn't going to go to my locals, unfortunately. I wanted to go to my locals because I had some decks I wanted to bring and try out. But due to the fact that there's a snowstorm, I am forced to stay inside today. And what better thing to do than stream, especially when there's an online tourney that's post-rotation. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, pretty darn excited. We're going to be playing some Arc Tina today in the tournament. This is what we are running today. We're playing some Arc Tina in the post row tourney. I'm pretty excited for it. Can't wait. Can't wait. We want to try playing a post-rotation format, but it's just the tournament is no longer open. Really? Well, there is a minute until it starts. I guess we'll see. There's 37 people in it. We're probably going to have maybe roughly like 25 people. It's probably going to be a bit of a smaller tournament, but that's all good. Because we're going to we're gonna get some dubs with Arctina. That's the plan. Snow in Canada, no shot. Uh, believe it or not, no shot indeed. Um, you just watched my video about the new cards? Yo, let's go. You try another Shampoo deck? Good luck, good luck. You want to try playing a post uh format, but it says the tournament, yeah. No Arc Drago? Arc Drago could be good, but I don't think it beats Charizard. That's why I think Arc Tina Superior is just better. Charizard's going to most likely be popular tonight, so I want to play a deck that beats it. What's better, Peony Maridon or Path Maridon? Not sure. I would argue Path is because I got top 8 at Portland. But yeah, that's the plan today. post row tournament. It's going to be starting in a minute, so it's about to start. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, we'll see how it all goes. I guess I can try to get the chat on screen. As long as we don't have any shenanigans again, we can put the chat back on screen. Pulsation? Proxies? No, it's, uh, it's on TCG Live. We just, we're just not using new cards. Oh, it started. Thurman started. We are round one. Ooh, we hit Goldengo. We hit Goldengo Pelkia. Hmm. Okay. We hit Goldengo Pelkia round one. We will see how this goes. Yeah, Goldengo Pelkia round one. So the tourney just started. Why play Tomb? Yeah, it's mostly for Rodom and uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. The, I think Rodom is still going to be popular, so I still wanted to play a counter to it. All right, yeah, we hit Goldengo Pelkia here round number one. The tournament just started. Yeah, we hit Goldengo Pelkia. We just started a Cinderace. The triple of uni deck? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. It's current format. It's not current format. It's it's uh, rotation. We are playing a rotation format. There's no battle VIP. No path. Oh, it, oh, with Lugia? We went 4-4. Four and four. We we had a good start, but then and unfortunately we fizzled out in the end. Uh, we hit Charizard. We yeah, it we we could have done a lot better, but yeah, our run run ended at four and four, which I was upset about. I thought the deck was still good though, to be honest. For what we were working with, I thought the deck was fine. We just got unlucky. And we had some bad matchups. Alright, what was the in-game name again? Nobu, okay. Alright, Goldengo. I I don't know if we can beat Goldengo, to be honest. Without Path the Peak, we are potentially unfavored into it. We'll see. We have Art, we have Giratina and Box of Disaster, which I guess is good. They're not playing vacuum, are they? There's no lost vacuum. They're playing catchers, though. We do play a TM Devo, which will help, I guess. That will be okay. We'll see how this goes. Right, let me restart the client real quick. You're running for you. Watch the first three. Yeah. I thought the Lugia deck was still a good call for the tourney, but yeah, we just ended up getting some bad luck. Am I going to Charlotte? No, I won't be at Charlotte. I'll be in Knoxville. It says you could register, but I don't have a deck made. Yeah, yeah. You probably wouldn't have had time, exactly. Yeah. Basculin, best Pokemon in the format. Yo, Basculin, what's up? How we doing, bro? You think Arceus will be good after rotation? Well, that's what we're going to be finding out. We're going to see if this Arctina deck can win us this tournament. We'll see how we do. 
We're up against a potential unfavored matchup, but we'll see. All right, hopefully this works. Can we get in? No. Oh, my God. The friends list is so grief. Let me challenge. All right, let's try this again. Am I going to UIC? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I do plan on going. If I can get in, I do want to try to go to UIC. I'm saying a lot of hype with the new Future Paradox box deck with Baby Maridon and Iron Crown. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for uh, pretty excited for that to come out. You'll appreciate the fall there, Gabe. Yeah, I definitely think Future and Ancient Pokemon, I mean, obviously, they just get like 10 times better with these new cards, which I think they were kind of desperately missing this, so. I think it's a good thing we're getting them. Yo, Danny, what's up? Yo, Twitch Unity. Yo, what's up, Danny? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. We're in an online tourney right now playing in a post-rotation tournament playing Arc Tina in this format. We're going to see if we can do well with it. You're also going to UIC? Yeah, I do want to go. That's the plan. You'll appreciate the fall there, Rez. Thank you. Ooh, we went second. That's a bit of a rip. By the way, a subscriber uh, gifted me the, f uh, the World Championship Sleeves and Deck Box. So, big shout out to them. They're letting me go first? All right, sick. It's not neat. We just need to get Terminarch Arc Energy, which, no, we get a mulligan. I think Judge is going to be good in this matchup. They don't really have a draw engine other than Goldengo. Judge could be good. We'll see. Ooh, no Arc Energy. Unfortunate. Hmm. It's a pretty bad whiff. Probably could have started Bidoof. Give me an Arc Energy. We have a really good hand if I get an Arc Energy. We need an Arc Energy here, chat. I think there will be. I, it seems that they're hosting them every now and then. Yo, the eh, the arc top deck. Let's go. Okay, we do have Giratina. We have the V-Star. Wait, what? They concede? Wait, hold up. What? Why did they concede? Yo. Was that on purpose? Wait, yo, I'm confused. Why did they concede the match? Ditto? Yeah, I thought about playing Ditto in here. I actually was struggling to figure out what to put on, put in the deck. I don't know why they conceded. Um, that has to count, though, because the rules state that if you, like, get disconnected or something, then you still lose the match anyways. They're not saying anything in the chat. Uh, I am very confused right now. I mean, I'm going to count that as a win. I guess. Like, they conceded the game. They're not saying anything in the chat. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we're one to know. We take those. Their hand might have just been insanely bricky. I don't know. Well, maybe they maybe they had to go. Maybe they had to, like, do something. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't play in the tournament. Honestly, that could be what it is. That's... I mean, we take those. A dub's a dub. We were playing against a potential, like, bad matchup. Sorry, deck miss. Wait, they had the wrong deck? Well, the, ge the the problem is the game started, so I think, I think I'd think i have to still count that as a win because the game already started, right? Yo, GP, think of, the, think of the sub there. Did they have the wrong deck? So they might have selected the wrong deck. The game already started, though. That's the problem. The game already started. If the game didn't start already, then it maybe would have been okay. But, like, I already, like, was playing my turn. So I don't know if that would be allowed or not. Now, I'm, now uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's post-row, no new cards. Yeah, we've played in these type of tourneys before. Obviously, there's no, like, Buddy Poffin, no Mist Energy, no EXs. But it's still going to be interesting to try things out. You could call that a win. My guy didn't check in. He was playing Goldengo as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I think I got the win. He hasn't requested a judge or anything. But like that has to count though, right? Yeah, I feel like if you get the wrong yeah, I feel like if you get the wrong deck, I mean that has to count as a win, obviously. The rules do say like the rules do say, um, the rules say, though, that if you, like, get disconnected or something, here, let me see this. I know it said it, said it somewhere. Hold on, let me see. Uh, if the experience any following, but not limited, game freezing, internet issues, server issues, game lag, software glitch, device crashing, it will be awarded a game loss to player experiencing the issue if the game is unusable. Where's the rule if you have the wrong deck list selected?
It doesn't say. It does not say. But I feel like if, the, if you have the wrong deck, though, it has to be a win. They started a new matchup. Judge call? Could be a judge call. My opponent didn't call. Hold on. I guess we can restart that. But, like... Hmm. Maybe we should just call a judge on that. We should maybe call a judge. Yeah. We should call a judge. Yeah. But, like... Hmm. I'll call it I'll see what happens. He considered probably had a bad hand. Yeah. I think we should just do a judge call. I don't know. I'll keep it fair. I don't want to, like... I mean, a win's a win, but I might as well make a judge call and just see what happens. My opponent might not be here anymore, though. They might have dipped. Not too sure. Not too sure on that. Yeah, we'll just do a judge call. The win, the win already got selected, but we should just do a judge call anyways, just to be fair. You hold up, Frizz. How are we doing? You scoop, you scoop. Yeah, but my opponent selected the wrong deck, though. So it's like, kind of doesn't count. You hold up, White Wolf. We're playing Arc Tina Superior in an online tourney. We're in a post-rotation tournament right now. Oh, they have hacking already? Apparently. Yeah, we got to call him up. If no judge appears, then... I'm not sure. Is any judge going to come? My opponent hasn't sent me another battle request. They haven't said anything in the chat, either. So I'm not sure what's going on. Call a judge and see what's up. If no judge, then you're fine. Am I, though? I think it's better to give my opponent a chance. If they had the wrong deck, I mean, that doesn't, like, that shouldn't count. Um, so we'll see what the judge says. If it counts as a win or not. Like, that's kind of, like, I don't want to be that guy. What's the issue? All right, uh... Sportsmanship triumphs, yeah. They report as a loss. I reported as I report as a win because I didn't see them in the chat at first, but they might have selected win too, so I'm not sure. Cause like I I, I clicked win because I didn't know what was going on, and then before the uh, timer ticked down, they clicked win too. So the judge can just reset the score though, obviously, if it counts. You already have the win. Because I selected win. They can just reset it, though. I selected win before they said anything in the chat because I didn't know what was going on. They took a minute to, like, say something, so I didn't know what was going on. I thought they, like, actually conceded on purpose. Um, so that's why that happened. Yo, what's up, BS Gaming? We're playing an online turn right now. We are in the round one. My opponent had an, a deck list error or something, I think, or, like, the wrong deck list. So we're trying to figure out if we can figure this out, if I get the win or not. So I'm not sure what's going on here. We'll just have to give it a minute, chat, and see what's up. Yeah, my opponent had the wrong deck. I mean, we should let them. But, like, at the same time, though, if you're in a turn, you should make sure you have the right deck selected, though. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what the ruling on that is. Uh, nothing's popped up yet, though, so I'm not too sure. Looks like we don't take those. We'll see. Uh, nothing's been updated yet, though, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we're playing Arctina Superior. I don't think they'll let you start up now because there's less than 25 in each round after check-in. Yeah, probably. Your seventh stream in a row from you? Yo, what a legend, Rob. Yo, appreciate that. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it out. We're playing it in a post row tourney. Round one, uh, my opponent had the wrong deck list or something like that happened. That would be the correct thing to do unless you would have been happy running it back. I don't know if my opponent is still here, though. Might be too late in the round now. Well, it is true. It might be too late in the round. I guess we'll see. We don't want to... I don't want to, like, delay the tournament. Show the deck list. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll show the list. Uh, we are playing... Let's see here. Because I imagine... My opponent said deck miss. So I imagine they meant, like, they had, like, the wrong deck or something. That's probably what that was. I have to imagine that's what it was. 
This is what we're playing. We're playing Arctina Rotation. We're playing 2 2 Superior so that we can have a fighting chance against Zard. The matter for this tournament is pretty evenly dispersed. Interesting. Yo, Kakashi, what's up? Pardon me. Welcome. Take the dub. Well, if my opponent doesn't say anything in the chat or whatever, then we're probably just going to have to get the dub. We'll see. Maybe he meant his hand was bad. Maybe? I don't I don't know. That yeah, that is true. I I don't know. Sorry, deck. But like deck miss I feel like that means that he meant like he had the wrong like his hand, he probably saw like some kind of like he saw like a VIP or something. But I don't see my opponent in the chat or anything. And they haven't like sent me any like battle requests or anything. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see. It's probably too late now, though. Like, yeah, I think it's probably too late in the round. We'll see, though. Guardian will completely fall off? Uh, probably not. I think the deck will be, like, okay. Think Toadsquill's worth? I thought about a 1-1 Toadsquill, actually, for the Roin Moon matchup, yeah. Because this deck might struggle against Roin Moon. Uh, we do play a 2-2 Superior, but Roin Moon is, like, they could still, like, trade 2 for 2 the entire game. Looking at the decks, I would have thought you would have both been. Well, you would have both been able to see if they brought fairly good decks. I went first, and as I drew my card and played a nest ball, he conceded. He probably saw a battle VIP or something. I got, well, we're going to have to take the win. I don't see my opponent in the chat or anything, so... I think that's probably just going to be a dub on our end. Not the not the start I was expecting, but, I mean, I guess we'll take those. I guess. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. I'll, I'll monitor the chat and see if my opponent says anything. Good luck for the tourney. How are you? Best regards from Switzerland. Yo, what up, Dami? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I uh, hope you're doing good, too. Will Guardi still be top 10? Probably not. I don't know. Well, it's too early to tell, but... I don't think Gardevoir is going to be terrible. Like, I don't know. People are saying Gardevoir is going to be, like, dead. I don't I don't think it's bad. No worries, Gabe. No worries. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the the tourney streams this week, so I'm 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 always happy to stream an online tourney. Yo, what up, Small Coco? How we doing? The new Relicanth? The new Relicanth is insane. Yeah, I think that card is really good. I've always wanted to have, like, a memory capsule-like card in the format, and I'm glad that got printed. Yo, Regigigas V-Star might actually be good. There's no cut, just five rounds of Swiss. Oh, shoot. All right, no top cut today. It's just five rounds of Swiss. Might be a bit of a shorter one. You'll still be a running top eight. Okay, I see, I see. He started Manaphy, and, then, and that's not in his deck list. Wait, is wait, does he not play Manaphy? Oh, he doesn't play Manaphy. I didn't even oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Oh. Okay, I didn't I didn't even realize that. I didn't realize that. Oh, he started Manaphy. And then it wasn't in his list. I didn't realize that. Oh. Like I think it's too late now, but whatever. Gotta go five oh. We gotta go five oh to win the tourney, yeah. And so we had the wrong deck selected. Yeah, I didn't even realize. I didn't even. I, I bro, I just assumed there was like when he flipped over Manaphy, I was just like, oh, because I would. I just assumed he had one in the deck. Yo, appreciate the fall there, Peacemaker. I didn't realize he didn't have a Manaphy. That's what it was. My opponent had a Manaphy in their deck. I wonder. Huh. That's interesting. Why even a judge call though? I didn't know what was going on. Yo, Rickster, what's up? Leaking the sauce? Yo, what up, Rickster? Yeah, we're playing at a post-road tourney. You're going to love it, bro. We're playing Arctina today. Yeah, Driftblow and Relicanth is insane. Yeah, I can do 300 damage. And then you don't need to play Bravery Charm, which is kind of good. Should it still be always a DQ? I don't think it should be a DQ. I mean, we, we've we rested a judge and stuff, but my opponent never showed up in the chat afterwards. So I think we just get the win. It's too late now, anyways. Like, like the round's already like been going on. It's probably too late, but 
Shouldn't that be your opponent's uh, prerogative in the situation? Yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, if they have the, if they accidentally click the wrong deck list for the for the game, like I sh I don't know, like that shouldn't be like an automatic like game loss. But I don't know. They didn't say anything in the chat, and I didn't really know what was going on. So, but yeah, I think it's too late now. My opponent, I didn't see them in the chat afterwards, so it's probably too late. Yeah. They haven't said anything in the chat, so I think, yeah, it is what it is. That is true. I was more nice. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like if you, if you accidentally click the wrong deck for the game, I mean, you know, why just restart, whatever. Even though, like, I had a slight advantage because I was, I was going first with the, uh, I was going first and I drew a nest ball. So, like, technically my turn was already preemptively starting, but it is what it is. All they posted the wrong message about the wrong deck. Yeah. The memory capsule is now a Pokemon. Yeah, Relicanth is insane. Relicanth is a really good card. I think that's definitely going to be like a sleeper hit for sure. All right, let's look at the metagame. Four Goldango, four Charizards, four Roaring Moon. There's two Arctinas. Sick. Yo, ooh, Arctina. Yo, I, I thought about that. I thought about playing Klefki in the Arctina deck too. I was thinking about that too, actually. We got another Arctina here. More straightforward build. Where's my deck at? Am I just under Arceus? I'm under. Oh, it's because yes, it's the superior. Here's what I'm playing today. If anyone's wondering, here's the uh, the Arc deck we're playing today. Play my daughter's Claw Tire instead. Yo, you should Rickster. Go for it. Yeah, we're playing this today. We're playing in a post rotation online tourney today with this. Goldengo is so popular. I'm kind of scared. It's not the greatest matchup for this deck, but we'll see. We'll see. Matchups. The matchup could be close. Attack with their previous evolution. There's a lot of there's a lot of Pokemon. There's Drifloon. There's Regigigas V. There's I don't know. There's a lot of Pokemon. I, I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter. There's there's like Magnezone X. There's there's a lot of Pokemon. There's a lot of Pokemon that benefit from Relicanth. Trust me, it's a good card. I think you're lucky there's no cloth. We'd be fine against cloth, because we have we just attack with superior, probably. I don't think the cloth match was bad at all. I mean, obviously, we don't want to, like, its weakness is a bad thing, but I don't think the cloth matchup is bad. There's an Arc Drago. Somebody's playing Snorlax. They did lose, which is good. Two. What about the Lost Box decks? Is it just, like, ooh, spicy, Valiant Hands? Interesting. I don't play Lost City in the list, which could be relevant. You're playing Lugia? You're playing Lugia in the tourney? Cloth can't use Electrode? Yeah, all they have is Cloth. If I just, like, attack with Superior, they have to two-shot me. I mean, they'll probably cheese a KO and an Arc early on, but as long as I can build up on a couple attackers, I'm probably fine. TM Devo? Yeah, well, I'm just playing TM Devo just in case of any evolution. Shempao, Goldengo, Charizard, just extra insurance. Just extra insurance. Relicanth with Unknown V and Unknown V-Star. Ooh, there's another combo. The Torterra? Yeah, we can look at the Torterra. It's interesting. Oh, they lost. No. Yeah, Torterra with Cricketune. Rip. Huh. Interesting. How the char are the Charizards all 1-0? Oh, that game is still going on. Wait, what? Let me go to pairings. Hmm. I guess we'll see. You're using Arc 2? The Drago, the Arc Drago deck. A lot of Arc today. Oh, Deluxe on the Arc. Oh, wait, did he, I think he dropped. Wait, did he drop? Just updated the standings. Gyarados Mill. Yo, Gyarados Mill with... Wait, Gyarados Mill wouldn't really work with uh, Relicant, though. Arc Drago. I rate it. I rate it. I like it. I like it. Hmm, what else we got here? Is there any other spicy stuff? There's a Serena. Well, I say they're all low in one. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's update the standings, yeah. Oh, there's a couple arcs. I mean, we don't want to arc mirror, yeah. We don't want to hit an arc mirror, honestly. Ooh, yo, arc Tina, or arc superior Vulpix. I like it. The anti-meta anti -meta deck. 
Would I ever be scared of double Charon's care? Probably. Well, I have Giratina V-Star, but they have two V-Guard energy, which is kind of scary. I don't want to do an Arc Mirror, bro. Don't make me do an Arc Mirror. That would not be fun. I have a bad feeling we're going to hit an Arc Mirror. There's a lot of Arcs doing well. Drago going into Portland? Post rotation? Uh, we'll see where Reggie Drago goes. Um, it depends. It really depends on its Zard matchup and stuff and what attackers it can abuse. Shampao with Klefki and Spiritomb. Ooh, that's interesting. What am I running? We're playing Arctina in the tourney. This is a Lugia Vessel Hands deck. Um, that matchup's probably a little scary. Because, oh, Mela Charizard, yo. That's sick. That's probably a scary matchup just because there's no path. That's like the one thing that sucks about this deck is there's no more path to peak. Now, Shampao, like, loses nothing with rotation. That's crazy. It's like stays the same, basically. I'm going to drop a deck list for you to check out. Uh, probably best to do it in the Discord. That'd probably be the best place to drop the deck list. But here's the list we're playing today um, for Arc Tina Superior. We'll see how we end up doing in the tourney. What happens to Archeops when you Devo it? Nothing. It doesn't It doesn't work because there's nothing under the Archeops, so it technically doesn't count. Yeah, you can't, you can't use TM Devo against Archeops. You can't use TM Devo against Archeops. Yeah, that'd be it'd be kind of good if he could, obviously. The Klefki build of Reggie Drago is working pretty well for me with the Dragon Tassigiri. Yeah, Klefki and Drago wouldn't be bad, actually, to kind of slow the opponent down. Bibline, not all alt art. Nah, I'm not a fan of the alternate arts, man. I I'm not a fan of them. I've never, I've never been a fan of the alternate arts. Am I going to Knoxville? Yeah, I'll be in Knoxville. I'm skipping skipping Charlotte, but I will be in Knoxville. I will indeed be in Knoxville. IRL foil on Galaxy cards. I try to like a deck that in the locals been trying to build several decks for post rotation. The new Karina will run a a Mela. Probably just Sada. Yeah, probably Sada. Because you're probably just going to play other uh, Pokemon to build up. What are your thoughts on Escape Rope as a card? Some people think it's good for a game. I think Escape Rope's fine. It's just, I don't like how there's decks that just, like, play, like, four of them and they just spam them. Loves the Plain Silver Rainbows. Yo, exactly. How'd you know? How'd you know, Bastion? A meta without Path of Peak is going to feel strange. I agree. I already feel kind of naked playing Arc Piles without, without the Path. Am I getting on for points this season? I think I'm at like 129 right now. I haven't been going to many cups and challenges. Um, I mean, if I get my invite, I get my invite. But I am gonna try to go to UIC. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to NA. Gonna try to hit most of the regionals, obviously. Yeah, losing path is very grief. Zoroark is rotating. I put a tweet out on that today. Kind of want to see more regular cards that combine for a big pick like they did with what we've seen in Scarlet and Violet. We might get something like that. Yo, Mewtwo's, what's up? I'm good. Playing in an online tourney. We're playing a post-rotation tourney right now with Arctina. Uh, we got a round one win because um, of, like, my opponent's deckless error, and we weren't able to, like, redo it, I guess. Switch card switches over Escape Rope. Basically, yeah. I don't know. Escape Rope is a very powerful card, obviously. and I don't know. I'm fine with it rotating, but it is a pretty big loss to the meta for sure, for sure. Yeah, meta without path is going to be really weird. Would you say the new uh, Buddy Poffin is kind of like the new level ball? Yeah, it's, it's literally level ball VIP put together. The problem with Poffin, though, is it, it only gets Pokemon with 70 HP or less, so you're not getting, you're not getting, like, there's, like, there's certain Pokemon with 90 HP or 80 HP you can't get, which is actually pretty funny. Right, looks like the next round's about to start. The next round's about to start soon, Chant. You might have seen something like Path or Similar come back. I think, I think we'll maybe see something like that. I wouldn't mind Path coming back. I'm a believer in Path. I think Path is good for the game. I think Path is a good card to have in the format, in my opinion. Wormadam has Grass Metal Fighting. It's tough to decide to use Bibs or Curlia. Probably have to use Curlia. Okay, what did we hit? Yo, is it an Arc Pile Mirror? We hit Moon. All right. Moon should be, like, 50-50. Like, really, it's, like, all about whoever takes the first knockout. Reboot Bot is going to be a nice new card. Arm Bundle is great for making your opponent bring up a Pokemon. Yeah, Reboot. Yeah, Reboot Bot will be pretty insane. I agree.
Rebubot is sick. I'm glad they gave us good A specs because I was worried that we were just going to get like bad A specs. And it was like, oh, it looks like Prime Catcher's going to be a one of in every deck. But like most decks will play Prime Catcher. Let me restart the client. Most decks will play Prime Catcher except for the Ancient and Future decks. They'll have to maybe play the other ones. Maybe the reboot one. The reboot's the only one that I think is like potentially as good as it. Very excited for Incineroar. It might be time to break out your old Silver Tempest Incineroar list. Yeah, the new Incineroar is looking pretty good. I agree. Incineroar EX is insane against Maridon, which is kind of funny. They printed the Charmander that bumps stadiums of a sign. They don't reprint Path. They want the Charizard Green. Or maybe they printed that because they want to reprint Path in the future. Yeah, there you go. Big brain. Big brain play right there. All right. My, my opponent doesn't say they're online. Oh, no. There they are. I right, yo. First time. Let's get it. First time, please. You just lose if you choose to not bench stuff, though. Yeah, it's like it's like Palkia when it was good. If Palkia punishes you for benching Pokemon, right? What do you think of Serena with Brute Bonnet and Hisui Sneezer? It's an okay combo, I guess. Being able to Oko anything for one energy is kind of cute. There's a lot of ways to play Serena. I definitely want to try Serena with, like, Crobat or Greedent in the future. Good luck in your match. Thank you. Ooh, we lost the coin flip. Not good. It's pretty bad. What am I to path reprint? It's a good card. I agree. Hex Maniac reprint? No, I don't know about that. He well, there's no VS Seeker in the meta, but he Hex Maniac, I don't know. Give us a Power Spray reprint. That Now, there you go. That That's a reprint for the ages. Power Spray. Can you imagine a Power Spray reprint, chat? That would be nuts. Got a lot of basics. I guess this isn't terrible. Starting with Tomb's kind of funny. No, we didn't get a turn energy, though, on the arc. No. Rip, dude. Okay, that's really bad. We have to just put that in play and pray. No energy on the arc sucks. We actually had a really good start if we literally just got an energy there. Damn, that's depressing. Lost the stage because of Power Spray Pass. Power Spray. It was like a card you can play on your turn. Or on your opponent's turn, and you can cancel an ability. So let's say your opponent tried to do Pidgeot. If you had Power Spray in your hand, you can just play it and prevent that ability. Oh, they got a stadium rip. It's not looking good. Well, we'll see if they can find a squawk ability. There's no VIP anymore. I gotta remember, Roaring Moon's not as fast without VIP pass. No, they hit Ultra Ball. Never mind. It's Jover, dude. This is why not having Raihan in the format is bad, too. If they knock me out, I'm probably just screwed, because I literally can't attack them. This is really bad if they get the knockout here. We'll see, we'll see. They play three boss? Jeez. They play a lot of boss. Damn. They drew the bananas? Maybe. We did get it. We Starting Tomb's actually pretty good because they can't fish. They can't cherry pick the Sada. We can just judge them next turn, I think. Just go judge Starbirth, maybe. Yo, they tried to fish under Tomb. No. <laughs> oh, no, Chad. They did it. They fished under Tomb. Rip. Do they have Sada? Yo, they don't got Sada. Let's go. I don't really want to judge them, but got to go for it. Yeah, they fished under tomb. Not like this. Hmm, okay. Okay, we'll just Starbirth for research DTE. I maybe should have saved the Starbirth, but if my opponent... I mean, they have one Iono, and they, they can't get it. Like, no shot they're going to get the Iono off this, but we'll see. This deck tournament? Yeah, we're playing in Pulse Rotation. We're in the tourney right now. No, they hit the forest. Yo, Judge is a lie. Are they going to Iono me? Reset bot's very good, yeah. Uh, Power Spray definitely would be pretty broken. I'm not saying they should print it, but it would be a pretty funny card to bring back. Alright. Rip, the judge gave him the four seal. That's fine, though. They knocked me out. I could get Counter Catcher. We can Counter Catcher and knock out Luminion. Hitting the active isn't, like, fantastic, but we'll see. Losing Tomb is fine, because they can't use Fish anyways anymore. They don't have Super Rod, so yeah, they can't. They got no more abilities for that. 
They can attack with the other moon, which is what I'm scared of. Hmm. Let's research see what we got. Okay. Not bad. I don't really need a bench other superior at this point. Just do this. Grab Bidoof. And we hit him for 180. They can... Uh, I don't want to get attacked by the other moon, but we might. So we'll have to see if that happens. Alrighty then. Grass. Psychic grass. Spread him out, baby. You're tempted to attack Poppy in more decks. Poppy would be kind of sick. Poppy and Ark with, with like Greninja or Mew EX or Iron Hands. It's something that I definitely want to try for a video sometime. Power Spray was a standard card. Would it be able to stop backs? It would. I don't know if it would be able to stop backs for the entire... I forget what it does. I don't know if it's like only that ability or all the abilities per turn. No, it's never won't be tier 1. The card is good, but it's not tier 1 good. It's kind of like Goldengo and Shampao right now in our current format. It'll be like that level probably. If I had to make a prediction, that's probably where it would lie. Right, we'll see what they do. I think Superior with a double turbo can one shot the fish and the squawk. How much HP do they have? 110. Wish Sam moved three counters. That'd be really good in the moon matchup, yeah. Well, you could play Alakazam Ray or Halucha. There you go, Alakazam Halucha. Oh, they hit the boss. I'm going to kill my Alakazam. That's fine. It's a little awkward, but not the end of the world. Honestly, that's fine. Actually, I don't think that really matters, to be honest. Kill the Alakazam. I need to... We could theoretically still lose this, though. Oh, that was a huge top deck. Wow. We can just boss the other moon up. Knock it out. Is that correct? Yeah, I think we want to boss this up. We get the stadium too. That'd be nice. Get the league headquarters. If I whiff the energy though, this is kind of annoying. No way I whiff energy, right? Okay, good. Ooh, we hit league headquarters too. Chill. All right, Regal Blender. We didn't hand disrupt them, which is also nice. I wish I had two superiors in play though. Yeah, I think boss was correct there for sure. All right, take our two prizes. What do we got? Boss energy, not bad. Good prizes, good prizes. They have the frenzy gouging to knock me out. Okay, oh, they had a stadium. That's fine. Can they get another moon powered up? That's what I'm scared of. This is why I didn't know if I wanted to do that, because if I had two superiors, I'd feel okay. We'll see. This is going to be a close one. Yo, what if it goes to sudden death? Nah, no shot, right? Hmm. No, they have another moon. No. Okay, it's actually not good, dude. Kind of checkmate, though. It's either checkmate or sudden death. Yeah, them killing my Alakazam there is actually really bad, to be honest. The more I think about it. It's not good. We'll see if they can charge up another moon. That's my last league headquarters, too, which sucks. I only play two in the deck, which is not great. Not good. You got boss? Yeah, but that's... I don't know. It's either going to be sun and death or not. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Just kill Squawk or Luminion. But they could still take us to sun and death, though. That's what I'm worried about. We could still go to sun and death. If I go second, I could Iona them to one, which would be pretty funny. Isn't Squawk bugged in Sun Death, though? Wait, would I, I would have an advantage if we went to Sun Death, because Squawk is bugged, I'm pretty sure. They have no Greninja. Can they build up that other moon? They're now two Dark Patches. How many energy switch do they play? They do play three. We'll see. All right, they don't got it. Nice. All right, sick. Okay, we just... We're, we win. We win. That's game. They fixed it? Oh, they did? Okay, Sun Death. Well, now we do win. Now we have game. We have boss in hand for game. They had to kill the superior there, so I guess that worked out. If they killed me with a fresh moon, it would have been sudden death. It was going to be the dub, though. Yeah, either I hit this, we go to sudden death. But we got boss. Let's go. All right, GG's. 2-0, and oh, chat. Let's go. What deck we're playing? We're playing Arctina superior. 
We are now 1 and 0 against Moon. GG. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, GG. Oh wait, what? Yo, let me I forgot we have to take our prizes. Why don't they do They got to do that auto, bro. They got to auto do that. I hate that. Yeah, the moon the moon matchup is like very just like just you try to take a knockout every turn. GG so I guess we're two and oh. Uh -uh. I wish dude, I wish the prizes would just auto take when you win the game. I hate that. It's silly. Alright. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, we are now two and oh chat. Let's go. Your car sleeves are so sick, you want them? Well, yeah, actually, funny story. A subscriber actually uh gifted them to me today. I checked my email and a subscriber gifted me the the world championship. 2023 20, set so shout out shout out to them for that i forget what, i forget their name i they actually might have been in the twitch chat yesterday because i remember they were asked somebody was asking about my business email and that's what that probably was but yeah shout out to them for the the gifted set here it's pretty nice i mean you can't really see it because my chat blocks it but it's a nice set so shout out to them shout out to them am i missing oh, am i missing another world sets actually i might be is there a way to filter unowned hmm I don't think so. Is there any way to... Wait. Preview all? I don't think... There's no way to... There's no way to see what... What else is in the game. Very lucky. I know. Yeah, because there's no trade anywhere. You can't just get them for free. On pubs. Insane. You already lost the game because the game would not let me take your last prize? Really? I see a list you're playing and so far... Yeah, I love it. I'm an arc lover too. Yeah, I'm out here... With the arc dream. We'll see how long the tourney lasts. Because after the tourney, we might just hop on the ladder for a bit. It's, unless there's another tournament later on. I don't know if there is. Not sure if there's any other tourney we can play in. But maybe we will. A WoW Freeze Articuno deck like the one you went over in the Expanded video? In Standard, it would probably be tough. But in Expanded, I could maybe work on that. Yeah. Unless you buy them. Wow. Dude, that sucks. I forget what world set I'm missing. I think I'm missing 20-something. 2017. What am I, I What am I missing? So I have... I have 2013 sleeves. I don't know the deck box. 2014, 2015, 2016. 20, I'm missing 2017 and 2022. That's it. The set also comes with avatar skins. Yeah, that was actually cool. They, yeah, it was like the actually. That's one thing I'll, I'll say. That was actually that is kind of cool. Maybe yo, you know what? Why don't we just put that on? Actually, I forgot about that. Yeah, they give you the uh, the av yo. They give you the world championship shirt. Now that is clean, bro. Do be dripping. Look at that, chat, bro. Be dripping. That's actually a, that's a, that. Um, we're rocking that, bro. We're rocking that. Just got done with round two. Played a moon deck. He bricked. Let's go. Wait, you're two and zero now, typo or one and zero or one one. That's clean, actually. That's clean. He clean with it, though, chat. That's crazy. What else? Wait. It came with other things, right? What else did it come with? Um, came with a hat? The hat, too? Yo, the drip is real. The top's kind of sick. Yo, what about... Do we get pants with it? Are those the pants you get? I think they are. Yellow TCG Live sweatpants? No. Maybe you don't get pants. Maybe I'm trolling. Nah, I don't see any pants. Yeah, maybe not. Those are kind of clean with it, though. I didn't think I was ever going to be... Uh, I didn't think I was ever going to be a customized avatar on this game, to be honest. But here we are. Oh, they come with the shoes, too? Yo, chee! Yo, that's sick. Can you see those, chat? Yeah, you kind of can. Who canceled LDF's locals? The snowstorm, Sonny. The snowstorm. We're supposed to have a... We're supposed to get, like, 25 centimeters of snow tonight. Though, ironically enough, there's no snow right now, but it's supposed to come soon. And I didn't want to be an hour away from home in, like, bad weather. Pants with the yellow pockets? They'd be dripping, bro. A moose? I need some advice on the deck I'm playing today if you got time. The, what, the Shampoo deck typo? You only have the 2017 sleeves? Yeah, those are the ones I'm missing.
Doesn't every Canadian home have a snowmobile? Yeah, we do. We do. That's true. That's true. You got so much snow in Detroit right now? Damn. How are the standings looking? All right. Maybe typo will get paired. We're both 2-0. Oh. We're both 2-0. Oh. oh, Raikou? I don't hate it. The Raikou's okay. It might be okay. I don't hate you for playing Durant. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the Durant video the Durant video is fun to make. You got yeah, you, yeah. Maybe I maybe we will add each other typo. Maybe we are gonna hit each other in the tourney after all. Look at that. The training function on PCGO was so fun. I agree. I miss it. As somebody who did a lot of active trading and was into like the the expensive items on that game, I do miss trading on that game quite a bit. What else is two and zero right now? Charizard's two and zero. We don't mind the Zard matchup, obviously. Two Entei though, that's not good. We don't want to hit double Entei and Zard. That'd be bad. There's only two and right now. There's a couple other matches playing it out. Iron Bundle is so weird. Iron Bundle's a G. I look forward to it. Raikou's just another hitter. That's fair. I mean, I guess you could use a four seal. What do you think about Pulse Rotation Charizard? I think it's probably going to be BDIF. Pokemon, like, okay, here's the thing. All these cool new, like, ancient and future cards that got revealed. Well, specifically the future. So, all the cool future cards got revealed that make it look like it's, like, the new updated version of TDK. I actually don't know if that's going to work because I just feel like the deck just gets gatekept by Charizard. Like, how are these, like, big basic future decks going to be able to keep up with Charizard? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Charizard, like, bro, every stream I rant about this card. But, like, I've, I feel like the... I feel like all these cool new, like, EXs they keep printing are just going to suck. Because, like, all right, Charizard beats them anyways. Who cares? Weird Suicune so rotates, but not Raikou or Entei. Yes, yeah, so we can come out too too early. Iron Bundle stonks going up with Rope Rotation. Potentially. That's true. That's fair. And then you start at, uh, being able to add extra turn cards into craft materials. Four Secret Dark Patches. I don't want the basic one. <laughs> Daily Dose of Charizard rant. Every day, bro. Charizard is just too good. Yeah. Not true, though, but I don't know. We'll see. Like, my, my opinion on all the new future and ancient cards that got revealed, they look cool. They're probably going to be fun to play. Will they be able to beat Charizard is the problem. Like, is Gouging Fire going to be able to beat Charizard? Probably not. Is The only one that maybe can beat it is Raging Bolt, but that's because Raging Bolt can one-shot a Charizard. But, like, these, like, Turbo, Iron Valiant, Iron Crown decks. Like, dude, if you're playing Iron Crown against Charizard, Charizard just goes boss, 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 takes three prizes, knocks out those things. Like, all right, GG's. I don't know. I'm very skeptical on these new cards. I just feel like Charizard is just going to stop them from ever being, like, really that good. Toad's Cruel? Maybe should have played Toad's Cruel. Raging Bolt is sick. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That's that's going to be a fun one to do a video on. That's true, yo. Tinkaton's going to get worse. Zard hasn't hit its prime yet. Yeah, soon it will. The best Arceus now? In the rotation, Arctina, probably. So many good cards are left behind because Charizard just beats them. Yep. The only one that maybe can keep up is Roaring Moon, just because it can instantly knock out Charizard. If you can't, if you, after, like, after you take two knockouts, if you can't KO Charizard, you just, you lose. It's game over. That's it. The end of the game. Been having fun playing Meowskarada at locals. Meowskarada's sick. I, there's a few Meowskaradas in these last online post-rotation tourneys. I thought about playing it. Maybe one day, chat. For the memes, we'll do a tournament with Meowskarada, but it would have to be post rotation. I think Meowskarada right now would just, it wouldn't be able to keep up with like Giratina and stuff. Raging Bolt is so much fun to play with. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a fun one. I'm excited to see what early deck lists for that look like for a video. Safety goggles? That's only on basics though. That's not going to work on anything else. That's not going to stop Charizard. Do you recommend Meowskarada list? I did a video on Meowskarada not too long ago if you want to check that out. Ability that prevents getting one shot? Nah, I don't know. All Charizard will be the best after rotation. Most likely will become the best, yeah. Yeah, we all hate facing Charizard. I agree. I agree, Basculin. <laughs> Reggie's Thor and Iron Hands will survive. Maybe. Reggie's rotation, I mean, it does lose a few good attackers. That's about it. Zard beats Moon as long as they don't take two prizes. Zard just beats Moon if Zard gets the first two prize knockout, yeah. Raging, yeah. The new TDK? I am. I think it's going to be fun, but... I don't know if it beats Charizard. That's that's the only thing. The deck looks fun, but I don't know if it's beating Charizard. The easiest way I've seen to play against is not knock them out until the last moment you can keep the Zard's damage output. Yeah. I think decks will probably just have to start playing more TM Devo, to be honest, even then. It feels like the ADP 
I don't think it's quite there yet, but I don't know. If Zard is literally, like, so bad that, like, any basic EX deck that they print just isn't functional or doesn't have the chance to compete, then, yeah, Zard at that point we can consider, like, bad for the game. Reggie's will survive? Maybe. I'll, I mean, that's something I will obviously try out for sure. We're definitely going to do a rotation Reggie's thing. The one thing I like about rotation is every single card immediately becomes, like, every deck we can update for the new format. Like, Reggie's updated for the new format will be really fun to try out. Zard matchup is kind of good with Goldengo. The Golden, yeah, Goldengo can beat Zard. Tina can beat Zard, obviously. Arc piles maybe can beat Zard, depending on how it goes. Cloth Electrode. Cloth will Electrode doesn't. Electrode loses Spicy Curry. So now you can't one-shot Charizard. Iron Lees will be in the new future box. Yeah, but the problem with that is, though, you need to get three Grass Energy in play, and then you also need to make sure you have multiple Iron Leaves. You go Leaves, knock out Charizard, and then they knock you out. And then you have to get another Leaves up to kill the next Charizard. That's the problem. That's why Charizard is just cheesy, bro. It's just a really cheesy card. Goldengo is sus first Charizard. Needs seven energy. That's not too terrible, though. It's not... As long as you can build up a big hand, it's not bad. Yeah, maybe Oscar Otto will be meta. That's true. Now, even Pure Rotation Lugia felt like ADP. Pure Rotation Lugia was its own thing. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow there. Crooner. I would argue Pure Rotation Lugia was... I don't think it was worse than ADP, but it was like... I think it was better than ADP. If you put ADP against Pre-Rotation Lugia, Pre-Rotation Lugia would probably win like 9 out of the 10 games. Next match. Uh, whenever these next matches are completed. Pidgeot Fish Rodon plus Lightning Damage? Maybe. Anything can play Zard just depends on strategy. I'd rather play Lugia Rapish right now than Zard. The future A spec for Iron Leaves. I mean, that'll help. Iron Leaves with a new A spec is really, it's a good combo. You can just put three Grass Energy in play and then attack with it for free on an item. That is really good. I could see Iron Leaves being played in like Roaring Moon or Ancient ancient Box decks with like Sada. You could like Sada Grass Energy to play for uh, Iron Leaves. Grabbers? Uh, without Path anymore, it's 50 50. Battle VIP being gone is so much better for the competitors of the game. The person who draws VIP wins most of the time? Yeah, I agree. There seems to be a lot of cards that heal Pokemon to full if uh has less HP than 30. Yeah, I know. That's true. Yeah, some of the new cards that they printed are like anti-Serena EX cards. It's kind of funny. Relaxar? I think there's one, but it was like 0-1 last time I checked. Might have been 0-1. They're 1-1 now. We Unless we get down-paired. Oh, they got a... They missed a round, that's why. We're probably okay into Laxar. We have Giratina. I don't know, we'll see. Third HP is so specific. Yeah, they bro, they were like, you know what, what if Serena... Yo, forget Charizard. What if Serena becomes a real problem? Well, I don't think Avery's a big deal. I don't think... I don't think Avery's good in Ark at all. I think Ark would rather just use Boss or Judge. But, Raihan is a big loss for sure. Raihan is a huge loss. Future Box has VIP with Techno Radar. That is true, actually. I forgot I forgot that card existed. Hey, Cheryl, Rotan. I think Garchomp would have done well when rotation happens. Garchomp could still be good. I It could still be good, even with the loss of Cheryl. They nerfing Moon will, with the new energy. Yeah, Moon could just play Temple of Sinnoh, though. That's the problem. They could just play Temple of Sinnoh. Fluttermane and Spidops. You know, Spidops, the X, anti-Zard. Buddy Poffin will be nice to have. Maybe there'll still be a Charizard counter, not announced. To be fair, there's... Another set in Japan that's going to combine with Temporal Forces that we haven't seen yet, right? I think there is. I'm pretty sure there's another set that's coming out in Temporal Forces that will combine. So there's another set, I think, that's going to come out in Japan before Temporal Forces that we're going to see. Bianca and Skateboard will be a Focus Sash. Ooh, that'd be interesting. I'm excited for the Skateboard. I'm always happy when they print those, like, tool pivot cards. They're just they're just good to have in the game, in my opinion. Gudra. Gudra could beat Zard. Radiant still looks force of an energy. The Flutter main art rare is nice, yeah. I mean, Pokemon always do a good job with the uh, new alt art rares and stuff. Their HP makes sense. Most basics don't hit 30 HP with one energy. True. So many cards yet to be shown. Yeah, there's still a lot of cards. We have seen probably... we. Okay, I'm going to say we probably saw the best cards for the, the first set that's going to be in Temporal Forces. But I think we're going to see the next batch of them. We're going to see the next set. But yeah, there's still a lot of cards left. Just don't like Stall Goat. Bundle could be good. We'll see.
The hand discard item is so cruel against Goldango. Ooh, that's actually true. Yeah, yo, that's that sucks. Get rid of the retrievals. Yikes. Yeah, I don't know. That 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 supporter card is kind of cheesy. I don't know why they printed that. I mean, well, I do know why they printed it. They wanted to uh they wanted to make control better. Like that supporter could be good in any deck, to be honest. Just like even against Charizard, bro, you just ditch the rare candies. That's kind of dirty. Escape and Bianca make no sense with third HP left. Yeah, maybe there's something on the horizon that is true. Amoongus is not yo, Chad, did you see that? The Amoongus hand clipper combo? So there's this Amoongus card that is gonna be pretty dirty. There's this Amoongus card that's gonna be pretty dirty with hand clipper. Alright. Look at this chat. Look at this. During your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is discarded from your hand by an effect of an attack or an ability from your opponent's Pokemon, or by the effect of an item or supporter, you have to discard your entire opponent's hand. That's kind of crazy. Now, they have to hand clipper you, but imagine doing that against Stall. That would be insane. Charizard always has it, exactly. Go appreciate the fall there, Shaolin Warrior. You're running four of those in your Goldengo list? Yeah, this card is pretty good. This card is kind of insane. Yo, Hand Clipper Amoongus, bro. Broken combo. Disgusting deck. It needs to be nerfed. The Shroom hurts and benefits Stall. Yeah. Well, okay, I thought Hand Clipper was going to be good for Stall, but if you think about it, Stall usually has a massive hand. Like, they're not going to want to do that. So I don't know, actually, if... I don't know if Hand, hand Clipper might be better against Stall than for Stall. Because, like, Stall... If Stall has, like, a 30-card hand, they don't want to play Hand Clipper because they're forced to get rid of their own cards, right? Yeah, Charizard with 100 HP tool could be dirty. Charizard with Prime Catcher is already kind of stupid, though, because it already plays Arvins. And that deck already wants to gust half the time anyways. You like Clippers or Hands are massive lately? Yeah, it hurts Snorlax, Lost Box, Kogurgle, Goldengo the most. Yeah. It's no Tura Marnie or Let Loose. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It'll be good against Lost Box for sure. That's a pretty dirty card for Lost Box. How popular do you think Silene will be or Darkrai V-Star? I don't know about Silene, but Darkrai, maybe. I could see it. All right, next round is up. Yo, let's go. We hit. Yo, typo. All right, bring it on, bro. Bring it on. Let's get it. Now, let me check in real quick. I got to remember to check in. I almost forgot to do that. Woshen's second attack is 220, but that needs four energy, though, doesn't it? All right, again, Shen Pao. I actually don't know if this is a good matchup, but we'll see. There's no path. Without path, this matchup's actually probably going to be tough. Can't wait for your first opponent to try to hand trigger me going first, only for me to reveal Amoongus. That's the... <laughs> the troll is real. I mean, realistically, Amoongus won't be that playable, but it'll be a funny combo if that ever happens. Maridon turn, you forgot to check in. Pidgeot seems to only play in Charizard. I mean, Pidgeot... I think Pidgeot can see play in any deck that uses Stage 2s. I think in the future we'll see more Pidgeot with other Stage 2s. We just haven't gotten to that point yet. The new Relicanth with Megazone EX? I have, yeah. That Relicanth is insane. Relicanth with Regigigas is one I'm excited for. It's a post-rotation tournament. Um, obviously, we don't have all the new cards, but we're just limited to what we have on live. Good luck in this game. Thank you. This matchup is pretty bad, so we'll see how it goes. Well, it's not bad, but it's tough. We'll see. Hopefully, yo, get in the game. No, dude, not like this. Unexpected server error. Of course. Nice right, tries again. I'm sending the match. The new, yeah, new Relicanth is sick. I'm excited for that. Pidgeot Serena. Um, maybe. I feel like Bibril is probably better, but yeah. If you play Pidgeot Serena, you can't play Vanellux though. That's the problem. Can you just grab her plus Clippers and circumvent Amoongus? You could. But, okay, realistically, I don't think that's going to be, like, a legit deck. Or a legit... Like, I don't think every deck's going to start playing, like, Amoongus all of a sudden. Because the card is useless in any other situation. That's true. Yeah, good point. I got the I got the world's drip on me. 
you can't play expanded in friend battle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was recording a video with Celio's network um, a while back. We were recording a we were recording a video in expanded when I was doing the collab series with Celio, and we realized we couldn't do expanded friend battles. We just gave up. Goldango, Silver Tempest, Dunsparce. Yeah. The new Matang looks sick. Matang, Dialga, bro, that, I'm excited. I'm, like, bro, can we just get rotation? Can we just rotate already so we can play these new cards, dude? I'm excited for the Matang, too. That one got me hyped. I thought Matang was when you evolved it, so it was, like, Gloom, right? I thought it was, like, Gloom. When I read it that it was, like, a mini Magnezone, I was like, whoa, what the heck? This card's actually kind of good. Ooh, nice. That's good. What do we draw? Ah, uh, it's kind of an awkward Ultra Ball. Probably get rid of that. Probably want to get Giratina in play. The new cards in the online sim? Uh, I'm not sure. Finally make Rev uh, Reverum. Yo, Reverum with the cape card. For Alligators, a viable deck? It's probably just going to be like a, a fun rogue deck. Maybe a, it's more of a Bad Deck Friday deck, to be honest. It's it's cool. It's a cool card, but more of a Bad Deck Friday deck, obviously. Raging Bolt's going to be sick. We know my opponent's not Battle VIP, so we'll see what they got. There's Shen Pao. How many Switch does he play? No Switch at all. Interesting. There's Pokestop. Ooh. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Hopefully we just draw the V-Star here. I actually don't really want to play the Iono. Well, no, nah, I don't know. I don't want to play Iono. Should I, though? Yo, chat, do I dare roll the Pokestop? Nah, it's a bad idea. Pretty sure we're not going to need Alakazam in this matchup. Might bench it anyways. I mean, my opponent has no Fridgy backs. It's fine. It's fine. That would have been so good if I had an Ark in hand, dude. That's fine. We got the stuff anyways. Do I just get Stadium plus... Stadium plus Tina seems pretty good. kind of want to get Giratina set up. Or DT's Tina, sorry. I kind of want to get the state. I don't really want my point to have access to the Pokestop, though. We can probably just... We have another turn of arc anyways. We get boss for next turn. That's what I probably want to get. We can also judge next turn, though. DT leak headquarters just to get rid of the Pokestop. So my opponent can't play it. I'm down, sure. I don't know if that's correct or not. It probably isn't. Ah, uh, maybe I should have got Tina. I don't know. Boss would have been good. But I can just judge next turn. But I probably should have got. I probably should have got boss. But I don't want my point of access to the stadium. So this is probably fine. I still need to get Giratina though. We need to be able to one shot. Wish I played Lost City now though. Yo, the Bibberol off the prizes. That's a big, big hit there. Draw four cards, attach Metal Energy to Pokemon, then shuffle rest. No Gardenia in this deck? Why Why would he play Gardenia? It's not good in here. Oh, he had the Pokestop anyways. Dang it. Okay, Semi, so I'm punished. It's fine. You not with Giratina here. Big prize indeed. I'm going to get two back. They could prize a Fridgy back, which would be nice. Probably won't happen, but you never know. Does Rev Room EX with TM 280, 3 Defiance Band stack? I think so. I think, it, yeah, it should. It should. Because it's technically giving it, like, an extra attack. So the Rev Room would have two attacks. So technically it would stack, yes. No path? Yeah, no path. It's rotation. Hmm. Now, that's a pretty good hand. Uh, this is why I didn't want to Iono. It would have been so good if I just didn't have to Iono there. Because my opponent had a really good start. Or a really good follow-up. Iono because he irritated. But he irritated for the two things though. He irritated for the uh he irritated for the two Fridgy Baxes. And just a pass. Alright, this is we just go judge knockout. Nice. Big hit there, big hit. 
We just judge knock out this bib roll. Because now he doesn't have a draw engine. I mean, if he can knock out my arc off this, we'll have to see, though. That would be crazy. He does play a Luminion, so I should probably put Spirit Tomb in play. All right. Bibs, help me out. Nice. Got boss for next turn. That's big. All right. You're buying codes at Card Cavern? What a legend. I appreciate you. All right. I go one, two, three. Sick. Yeah, we're in a really good spot. My, does my opponent play any Gus? Just a counter catcher. All right. Middle prize. League headquarters. Insane. Yeah, he got fridge candy, yeah. No, oh, Judge is a lie. Still got the Irida. That's not good. Mm-hmm. Classic Judge. F. All right, if I get knocked out here, this would be pretty bad. No shot, though, chat. No shot. Right, I have to send a code to my friend here. All right. Manaphy. All right, no Berberal in play. All right, are we getting a KO'd? Arctina is very much cooking. Are we getting KO'd? My opponent needs six energy to KO my Arc here. Can it happen? Okay, they got Super Rod. They have two rare candies, right? They only play three. No. Oh. oh, it's it's really good then. The code is like up. He didn't have any boss. He has low supporter count. Well, that Shem Shempel usually just plays like a low supporter count. Yeah. So I need a code for McDonald's for my mom. It's not working. Okay. My opponent breaks the box, which sucks. But yeah, this is like really bad for my opponent. Yeah, we can just go do that. Boss. Ultra Ball. Grab the Giratina. The Barrel for three. We even got TM Devo. That would also win us the game because my opponent has one rare candy left. So, like, I could also just win the game with, like, a TM Devo. Uh, let me check my energy count. One switch. Okay, we're fine. Try yeah, I'm trying to send my mom a, a code for McDonald's. It's, like, kind of being, it's being dumb. Work. Wait. What do you mean scan it? Sorry, chat. I'm like trying to figure this out. Okay. It's, oh, that's that's weird. Okay, never mind. That's why I don't play Shampoo. Yeah, Shampoo can be inconsistent, and yeah. Uh, do we just sack Superior here? Yeah, it's probably fine. Give up Superior. I have boss in hand. Yeah, this is, like, pretty bad for my opponent. Because I can just boss out the other Bax Caliber, and it's, like, GG's. We'll see if my opponent does this turn. They don't have Iono anymore, so that's a big deal. Yeah, let's give them the Superior. It's fine. Actually, no, I should have gave them... No, I give them Superior, yeah. We always give them Superior, actually. I lied. All right. Yeah, we're dead. That's fine. I guess the Raikou can attack. This is, like, basically game over. Because I just go boss, knock out Bax Calibur, and then it's, like, nothing my opponent can do. Oh, they don't even have a knockout. Oh, no. They whiff the knockout, too. Okay, yeah. That's, like, pretty much... Yeah, it's, like, GG's. Yeah, they whiff the knockout, too, which is really bad. And they have no... 
They have no things left, so yeah, rip. All right. Can we get the last DT off the prizes? No. That's, that is GG's. Yeah, they... They, yeah, it's, they can't win anymore. Because we can one-shot... Yeah, it's bad. It's not looking good for my opponent. It's, it's pretty much wrapped up. They have no Bax Calibers left in play. They're out of Rare Candy. My opponent plays two Rare Candy. They have no way to draw cards because Spirit Tomb's in play. This is pretty crazy. Superior, yeah. Superior came out in uh, Silver Tempest. Came out in Silver Tempest. So it's uh, F-Block. Yeah, it is GG's. My opponent's out of... They're out of Steam. They're out of Steam. You're going to Charlotte with Kirim Shampao? Yo, good luck. Alakazam? I, I don't even know what it's in here for. Maybe just Gardevoir. It's just here for, like, damage manipulation. All right, GG's. GG's. Typo GG's. We got to have our match. Let's go. Yeah. I would, That's, like, okay. That's still kind of a bad matchup. But without Battle VIP, Shampao just can't get everything it needs set up in time. Yeah, GG's. GG's. All right, I got to run downstairs real quick, chat, because this stupid code on McDonald's' app is not working, apparently, so I have to do something else. I'll be back in a sec, chat. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm back. What's up? Yeah, GG's typo. Yeah, GG's, GG's. Good game. Finally got to battle. We finally got to battle. Poffin's kind of good. Poffin's insane, yeah. The deck I'm going to make after rotation is going to be Raging Bolt. Yeah, Raging Bolt's looking good. We'll, we'll see what the lists in Japan are going to be playing, whether it's with Sandy Shocks or Lost Zone. Goldango will get better after rotation. It's got to find replacements for Cross Witcher and VIP. Well, Goldango can play Buddy Poffin because you can get the Gimme Ghouls, right? So you can probably just play that. Iron Crown is going to be your rotation deck. Potation got the best of me, needs VIP. Yeah, that's the issue. That's the issue with Shempao, the VIPs, right? Because you just couldn't get up enough Friggy Baxes. Yeah. The loss of VIP was pretty big for sure, for sure. You want to try Coquavel X, the Energy Ace effect, and Pidgeot? That's interesting. I have a, I think I have a Coquavel deck built. Um, got it. I haven't. Yeah, I want to do a video on it at some point. Coquavel, where you at? Yeah, I got a Coquavel deck built right here, chat. Coquavel keys, because Coquavel is basically a hit and run attacker. There you go. Rotation about to be crazy. Yeah. What's up, Sir Ballot? Not much. We uh, we're in an online tourney right now. We're playing in a post rotation tournament with Arctina. Superior, and we are 3-0 and right now. We beat Goldengo, uh, Shampao, and Moon. So we're 3-0. and Iron Crown good against Zard. 
Yeah, but the problem again, like it's just a, it's if the two prize trade doesn't work in Zard's favor. I, the Maridon will be good though, because you can use you can use the baby Maridon and knock out the Charmanders, right? And that's a one prizer. Oh, we get to play again later? Maybe typo. Maybe well, I don't know. I don't think there's any top cut, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no top cut. It's just best of five. it's yeah, it's just five rounds of Swiss. We'll see, we'll see. We had check standings actually. Now I'm curious, chat. What else is at three and oh? Oh, uh, dude, I don't want to do the Arctina Mirror. Oh, that's not good. Arctina Mirror is kind of kind of grief. Well, they don't play. Okay, they don't play Charon's Care. Maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. Arctina Mirror just kind of seems kind of miserable. I don't want to do Arc Mirror, bro. Not like this. They have more Tinas than I do too, which is bad. I only have a one one Tina, which is not good. Incineroar reacts. Incineroar looks good. You still live in Atlanta now. You live in a small city that doesn't have a good Pokemon scene. Ah, oh, rip. Future Box does look good, though. Like, I think it'll be good. And I'm excited to do, like, early deckless videos on it, but we'll have to see how good Future Box ends up doing. The Arc Pile is one in, or two and one. The Arc Tinas. We'd probably be fine against that, the full Pix Arc deck. But it lost. Want to hit Zard, if anything. Zard's 3-0. and Maybe we'll hit Zard. Because we want to... I think we're, we're favored against Zard. Or theoretically, we should be favored into Zard. The middle of nowhere, gang. Yeah. I do feel bad for people that don't have um, access to, like, locals close to them. It Yeah, it is unfortunate that that's, that happens. Uniclus Superior Incineroar. That's interesting. Actually, I forgot in uh, last night's upload, I didn't look at the Reuniclus card. The Reuniclus card is actually kind of cool. I don't know if it's good, to be honest, because it, it's a stage two. It's like Orbeetle. You're playing a stage two to get other stage twos in play. Will that be good? I'm not too sure. For every bench Pokemon, reduce energy cost for the attack. Yeah, middle of nowhere, gang rise up. Kind of questionable about Future Box. I think Ancient Pokemon just have it better because of the Sada Energy Switch. I I think they've done a good job balancing both of them. Like, Future Pokemon have, like, good damage output. And honestly, I think that that Maridon that got revealed, I think is a huge addition to that archetype. Like, I think that Maridon does add a lot of flair to that deck, for sure. Cooking Iron Valley to Miascarada. Valley Miascarada is kind of sick. What is the attack? The Reuniclus, uh, you know, pop it up. We still have time. The new Reuniclus is kind of crazy, bro. So it, summoning gate. Look at the top eight cards of your deck and put any number of Pokemon you find there onto your bench. Like, that's, that's kind of crazy. The new Maridon's really good, yeah. I feel like Maridon is the only viable one prizer Pokemon based on what we've seen so far. I think the Iron Valiant that does 200 damage is pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, the <laughs> the Maridon is insane. Temporal Forces Iron Thorn is going to be spicy. Could be. The Temporal, yeah, Iron Thorns looks kind of sick. Maybe we'll get an Iron Thorns EX. We should, hopefully. But uh, Ancient got the baby Coridon that hits for good damage. I think the Maridon's better. The Coridon's okay. It only does 180 damage, right? But yeah, this Reuniclus, it is a stage 2. But it does have a really cool attack. You compare that with the Mallow supporter card that we're getting. So it could be an, it could be fun. I don't know if it's actually that good, though. I think my problem with it is it just doesn't do... It doesn't do enough. Because it's a stage 2. It's kind of slow. But it could be cool. Like, imagine being able to put, like, Pidgeots in a play for free. It does have a cute art rare. Yeah, it's a good art. Like, 5 or 4 energies. Reuniclus can also get stage 2s. Yeah, it's like any Pokemon, right? Like, being able to put Pidgeot EXs into play is kind of insane. Full bench with one fire, 240. Yeah. You can also play TMs with Incineroar. Don't forget. You can play TMs with Incineroar. Ancient Pokemon got the baby Coridon. Yeah. Can't TM Devo them either. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's like having Archeops in play. You can't TM Devo them. The future A spec is uh, way better. Ancient will just run Prime Catcher. I don't, I do think that the Ancient Prime, or the Ancient A spec is still good. I think there is some merit to playing that, in my opinion. I think there's still some merit to playing the Ancient Ace spec card. Because, like, it still lets you see a lot of cards in a turn. It lets you pull off those combos even quicker. Like, if you're looking for, like, a Dark Patch or a Sada or even, like, a Cross Switcher combo. Actually, Cross Switcher rotates, I lied. 
I feel like if like solder energy switch or something, or like vessel, it can get you there. Also, like without battle VIP, Roin Moon doesn't have the ability to get like all these basics in play on the first turn. But you can play that to try to get you just draw the basics. Yeah, Darkrai V Star can get it back. Yeah, Body Pop and Incineroar. Yeah, Incineroar might be good. I I don't know how good it'll be. You can play with cards like Magma Basin, which is nice, and Double Turbo. So. You can still power it up even if your opponent isn't benching Pokemon, obviously. And if your opponent's not putting Pokemon in play, they're not playing the game. So you kind of have an advantage in that regards, right? Yeah, GG's, Typo, GG's. Maybe the next tourney we can have our rematch. Yeah, maybe Maridon is crazy for sure. I, I don't know. I think I think they're doing a good job balancing both future nations. I think future would probably be a little bit weaker if they didn't get the Maridon card. I think Future would be at a slight disadvantage without the Maridon that got revealed, but I think the Maridon balances things out for the Future Pokemon. Because Ancient Pokemon just have a lot of Energy Excel, and they have, like, they, I would argue they have better attackers, because they have Moon, Raging Bolt, Gouging Fire, and Walking Wake, which are pretty good attackers, whereas Future has, what, Iron Hands and Valiant and Iron Crown, and that's about it. Because, like, Iron Boulder is kind of bad. I guess Iron Leaves is okay, but we'll have to see on that. Glad you enjoyed the Durian video. You're gonna join on live? You might as well. Get an in-person game at Knox Regionals? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. If I'm able to. Relicant can use Litten's attack. That is true, yeah. You can use Litten. That's also true. Doesn't the Torah Cat have a good attack too? Alright, next round is gonna start in a sec chat. We're hoping to not hit the Arc Mirror, because that would just not be fun. The new Maridon EX. The new Maridon EX is okay. I think the other Maridon goes well with it, so. The new Karidon is really good, though. I think the new Karidon is insane. Hopefully, I'll be in Los Angeles. Yeah, that's the plan. I want to go to LA Regionals. I've always wanted to go to Los Angeles. That's, like, a good excuse to go. Roy Moon should be a sub-attacker to a Turbo Darkrai. Just KO when you need it. I've thought about that. I've thought about building Turbo Darkrai with Moon. I actually don't hate that idea. I like it. Definitely a video idea. That I got brewing. Yeah, good luck, good luck. Maybe we'll hit, maybe we'll hit. The Lugia match will be interesting. That'll be interesting for sure. Incineroar is going to take advantage of the fact that they're trying to make stage 2 strong. Yeah, Incineroar, like, Incineroar Pidgeot could be good. Like, that could be the new Charizard. Instead of putting Charizard EX in play, you put Incineroar in play and Pidgeot. You have a deck list? Uh, probably in the Discord. There's a disc Discord channel. We might end up staying in LA, Content House. Yo, that'd be sick. A PT, yo. Imagine if somebody made a PTCG Live content house. Yo, appreciate the fall there, WW. Imagine if uh, somebody made, like, a content house for TCG streamers. That'd be crazy, bro. The LA Regional is going to be off the the hook. Hope to meet you. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. San Antonio Regionals couldn't ask for a picture because I was posted at the First Step staff. Looking forward to other regionals, though. Yeah, hopefully we can we can see each other again. I know I've had a lot of people say that, like, I saw you, but I either was too nervous to come up or you were busy or whatever. I don't know. If you ever want to say hi, don't be afraid to just come up to me. Even if I'm, like, if I'm talking to someone, honestly, it's fine. Like, I don't take offense to, like, that at all or anything like that. Um, I like meeting, I like meeting, I like meeting people. Play all the time if you go second. You can donk, just play their Moltres via Moon. Yeah, it's true, true. Oh, no, Moltres V rotates, though. But I guess pre-rotation Darkrai will be good. Yo, future? Yo, what about future Darkrai V-Star? Imagine that. All right, what are we up against? We hit Zard. Oh, with two Entei's, though. Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> Dude, the double Entei sucks, bro. What the heck? That's so bad. If we're going to lose to Zard, it'll probably be this. Kind of glad I teched into TM Devo. That'll help a little bit. Oh my god, Zard. Not the Zard. Hmm. We'll see. Because we're not having Path is going to suck, dude. Oh, I missed Path the Peak already. Bring it back. What do you mean content house? You offer um corner of your boba shop? 
was starstruck with Andrew. Would love to talk to you for a minute or two. Yeah, yeah. Next time, next time you see me, yeah, don't be afraid. You're trying to face, yo, know, maybe. All right, Zarba double ente is pretty scary. Not gonna lie, but we'll see how this goes. Bro, tech for the Miascarada matchup. All right, let's try this. Let's see. Of course. It was bad catch, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I got counter matchup. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Honestly, I think this is fine. I think the TM Devo is going to be really good. If I can't use Sapir, I can always fall back on TM Devo. Because, like, NTV, two shots RC, so I can one shot with Giratina. This is where not having Path is bad. Because, like, my opponent can just boss me at any point in the game. So we have to be very cautious of our... Our bench. I think, honestly, double Ente makes this matchup unfavored, but we'll see. You appreciate that fall there, Saberface? Oh, God, not like this. Let's see what happens. Work. You're playing while watching? Yeah, all good, all good. We'll see how we do. We will we'll try. We'll try. I do think double NT. They have Radiant Zard too. Yeah, we might be cooked here, to be honest. Well, okay. Their list only plays two boss. They have two boss. League headquarters could be good too. My opponent actually plays no stadiums other than two vacuum. I mean, this is actually not that bad. Maybe actually, you know what? This matchup. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. All right, we got into the game. Let's go. McDonald's for dinner. That is yeah. That's uh. That's what's up. Lost the coin flip. Not great. I want to go first to this deck, obviously. My opponent's going first. Okay, they could get, like, a bad start. We'll see. They only play three nest balls, so maybe they struggle to get basics. I got no turn one. Well, I have arc. If I started with arc there, it would have been good. I had DT in hand. They opened Jirachi. We can judge. I get the Yokohama coin. A subscriber gifted it to me, actually. Um, shout out to them. I forgot their name, but they did gift me this. Maybe they're in the chat somewhere. Attach pass. Yo, let's go. Ooh. I just hold the hand. I just had a bad voice crack. I just hold the hand then, right? So I want to judge. I will hold the hand. We have Tina superiors in there. I don't know. Maybe I should have went for the Iono. I don't know. Because, like, I do want to get a tomb in play. I could just judge, obviously. I'll just wait a turn to judge. It's fine. Because I have guaranteed arc next turn. We'll just wait. We'll wait to judge. We'll wait to judge. I don't know. I kind of wanted to judge, though, because I really wanted to get a tomb there. Because they do have a lot of Vs. They have Entei, Luminion, and Rodom. Yeah, I kind of wish I judged. Whatever. It is what it is. They still have to get a Charmander down, which my opponent does not currently have access to. The turn's table? Exactly. Okay, I don't mind this. We can hit the Entei, actually, with Arceus. Getting the first hit here is pretty good. They do play a Turo, I guess, but we'll see. They gotta get Manders and Pidgeys down. They only play three Charmanders, actually. Wow. They got a Mander. No, they're playing the four seal stone. If you go judge and don't get the Arceus, why are, I have the I have the Arceus in my hand. But yeah, next turn, yeah, yeah, next turn it would have been bad. Yeah, next turn if I whiffed it would have been bad. But it all it all worked out. My opponent didn't get a Mander. We just go switch. Ideally, we get switch Bibral Energy. One of those three pieces would be great. Yeah, let's go. We even got Tina, which is good. Does it matter if I do 180 or not? Yeah, if I have to boss fish, yeah, it might matter. Let's go grab Switch Bibberl. League Headquarters could be good here, too. That'd be a good card to hit. Do I have both in the deck? League Headquarters and Tomb would be good cards to find this turn. Yeah, League Headquarters and Tomb I would like to find here if possible. Nice. There we go. Could Ultra Ball for Tomb, but I kind of want to keep everything in the hand, so I'm just not going to bother. 
I mean, I don't really want them to road on though. So I don't know, maybe I should have went that route. I'm not sure. They only play two vacuum. My opponent plays no stadiums in the deck. Just two lost vacuums. So we'll see if they can even get out of this. I need to get out of the leafy or neither I need another superior in play. That would also be good. You think of that fall there, Kayan. Thank you. Switch card, that's fine. Yeah, I kind of wish I got Tomb here. Honestly, I probably should have Ultra Ball for Tomb. I didn't want to lose another Iono, though. But, yeah, I'm punished for not getting Tomb. Should have got Tomb, dude. That was a misplay. They don't play Research, though. So they have to fish for Iono or get a Charmander. We'll just boss KO that, I guess. Do we want to boss KO Charmander? Leafy Camo rotating? Yeah. No, Poncho's still here. Poncho stays. Can we just boss KO Charmander? Seems good to me. Can I get punished for benching? No. I just want a tomb in play. Nice. Could Ultra Ball. Not really a point, though. I'm just going to save it. Well, Entei could knock out Tina. You'll think of the Father's Zombie Soup. Actually, I don't want to lose my Giratina. I should probably get a... Probably get the V-Star. I don't want to lose the Giratina. Because they can potentially knock out Superior, but at least I want... I want to get the Tina in play. It's kind of an important card in this matchup. So you can one-shot Pidgeot. Put four energy on it. Cool. All right, we're in a good spot. Let's we'll see what we got off the prizes. Another arc. I wish I played four boss, though. This would have been where four boss is good. All right, let's see if my opponent can knock out a superior this turn. That would not be ideal. We'll see if they got it, though. They got double Mander. They can't do Rodon, though. Like, if they just can't do anything here, it's fine. They could have a Worker. They do play a Worker in the deck. Do they have Worker plus Attack with Entei? Yo, League Headquarters put in Work. Countercatcher. Kind of wish I kept that DT, but I want to lose all my Onos. Hopefully, we can retreat here. We might be stuck for a turn, Chad. I don't like this. Okay, it's fine. We got research. That's our last Iono, so we are iono list now. But we hit. We hit it, so we're chilling. We hit the switch. Insane, Chad, insane. Let's go. They play two boss, one counter catcher. So they have three gust. All right, this is looking pretty good. We got boss DT, good prizes. We can boss Rodom next turn, knock it out with Tina. You just boss a Charmander. We're in a really good spot right now. Can I have gotten Alakazam? No, Alakazam doesn't do anything. We don't need Alakazam in this matchup. Oh, they just pass. Yeah, they got nothing. They could have... I mean, there's no way they get Rare Candy Boss, my thing. Yeah, they're not gonna... They're not gonna get Rare Candy Boss KO the, the Superior. Not gonna happen. Even if they do Box Pops, I win with Giratina. So it's like Checkmate, basically. We have game next turn. It's like basically Checkmate. We'll see, though. I'm gonna keep every card in my hand, if possible pass so they got nothing they can't do rodom judge plus tomb is insane they can't play fish their hand has to be rare candy charizard boss nah it's too late they can't win yo frangy gifting 10 subs to the community yo gifting a sub over to crook johnny sniper sits uh alisor or alan sork gazer bursts Irvlet, Captain Spicy, Timbo, and my Lotix. Yo, W Frankie. In, in fact, W in the chat. Yo, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those gifted subs. What a legend. What a legend, chat. GG's. GG's. All right. Zard matchup with double Ente. Not maybe as bad as I thought. See, that's where not having VIP or Poffin really hurts Charizard. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that a ton. Gazer getting the sub. Yo, shout out to Gazer Beam. For the 10 on Rodom. Why, I just killed Rodom with Giratina, though. I could have killed Rodom with Giratina. First time watching a stream, but love watching YouTube videos all the time. Love them. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you once again for those 10 gifted subs. Hope everybody enjoys the subs. Just back to Gold, uh, Gold Dango game. The live algorithm is garbage. Gold Dango can tend to brick sometimes. Yeah, what a legend. Thanks for the gift. Yo, appreciate the fall there, Starburst. 
How's it going? Yo, what's up, Sully? It's going good. We are currently 4-0 right now in a post-rotation online tournament with Arctina. I think if we win our last round, we win the tournament, right? Because we are 4-0 and, and there's five rounds of Swiss. All right, GG's, yeah. Yeah, appreciate those gifted subs. Seems like Zard would be a bad play for a tournament. It's like, none of the new cards, it hurts it significantly. I think Zard, Zard without VIP is a bit slow, for sure. Isn't every deck brick? True. Thoughts on Rain Moon? Right now, Moon's okay. I was at Walmart, and they had the four-pack gens for five bucks. Yo, let's go. Insane deals. The green and build? I did a video on the green and build. I did a, I did a video on that. I did a video on the green deck. All right, Chad, I got to run downstairs real quick. Uh, I'll be back up in a sec. All right, I'm back, chat. Okay, y'all got to deal with the chair stream. But we're, we're chilling. We're 4-0. If we can win our next round, chat, we win the tournament. So that's the, the hope, I guess. Try to win the tourney, if possible. Yeah, I'll be at Knoxville. I will be at Knoxville. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully Nate's going, too. I haven't seen him in a while. I think I saw Nate at Milwaukee. Or no, I saw him at any IC, I think. Yeah, the chair. Everyone loves the chair stream. What's the prizes? Uh, codes, I think. Codes, maybe. Probably codes. Yeah, 20 codes. 20 codes. There you go, chat. We got 20 codes. Should probably look at standings if it's updated yet. All right, we'll see who we play against in the finals, chat. It's either going to... I Well, will it be Lugia? It's either going to be Lugia if it wins, or we're going to get down paired. It's going to be one of the two. Yo, Lugia versus Arceus post-rotation is insane. What the heck? What kind of reality are we living in where that's a possibility? Where's Knoxville? It's in Tennessee. Should pin it on Cloth. Cloth is cool. Maybe we'll do a tourney with Cloth sometime. Deck list? Yeah, I got the deck list right here. I'll show, I'll just pop it up here. Here's the list we're playing today for the Arctina Serp deck. This is it. Never been a major before. Hope you're, uh, hope you're going to New Orleans and hoping to meet you. And with Sneaker Talker, just kind of the only uh, content creators I watch. You all appreciate that. Yeah, no, Christian's a good friend. Christian's a good friend of mine. I don't know, he's most likely going to go to New Orleans. I'm pretty sure he's going to most of the regionals. From Brazil, big fan. Yo, what's up, KGTCG? Welcome, welcome out. What did you wish you had a buff and damage? Yo, put your father seagull. What deck do you wish you had a buff and damage? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know if there's really any deck. I mean, yeah, I don't know. 
You appreciate the follow there too, KG. Thank you for the follow tonight, everybody, as always, on both YouTube and Twitch. If you uh, haven't joined the stream on the YouTube side of things, slap a like on the video. It would be appreciated. We need, we need that good vibes, Chad, going into the finals here to see if we can win this tournament. It's just five rounds of Swiss today, so you appreciate the follow there, Velos. Yeah, New Orleans is NEIC. I miss Ohio because it's in a very good, it's driving distance for Canadians, but, you know, it is what it is. They had to move it this time around. So be it. Might get down paired. Well, okay, if the Lugia loses, I don't know. We'll see. You're on the tourney too? Let's go. Actually, no. If the Lugia player loses and then I lose in the finals, there could be a 4-1 that wins the tournament then. So maybe the Lugia player will lose. What are the... What's, wait, what is Lugia... What, what's it playing against? Did it win? It's playing against Goldengo, which is like... I feel like Lugia is maybe okay against it. They have a Radiant Zard, but I don't know. Actually, that's favorite matchup. We'll see who wins that. Goldengo winning is bad, actually. We don't want to hit Goldengo. So I have to play the winner of that match, probably. KG took the dub. 3-1. Ah, uh, rip. Wait, wait, wait. Wigby, did you have the... Did you have the technology? The Serp? Ah, oh, no superior. Yeah, I guess I, I guess the Zara matchup might be tough without the Serp. You can thank live. True, true. Opinions on Garchomp X. Yeah, Featuring Garchomp V. I don't hate it. Could be a fun, fun deck idea. I got a few Garchomp video ideas coming soon. If Fairy was printed with 70 HP, I might have a shot being a good rogue deck. Yeah, 60 HP, yeah. To be fair, Clefairy with Buddy Poffin doesn't seem like a bad deck in the rotation. If anybody likes to play the Clefairy deck, yo, Buddy Poffin? Buddy Poffin, Clefairy, it's not a terrible combo. Your game froze? Oh, no, rip. Unfortunate. For the pros, what would you what would you rank score? What do you mean by that, Sully? You love Clefairy? Yeah, Clefairy's cool. Yeah, Clefairy probably I mean if you play TM Devo, but you beat Zard every time, guaranteed. Okay, wait, your deck? Let's see. Wait, the Charizard deck, right? Ooh, I like it. It's spicy. The toolbox deck. The Toad Scroll, yeah, I, I like the Toad Scroll, I guess, for the Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon's popular in these online tourneys right now for the post rotation tournaments we've said. I like it. The spice. I like Iron Hands Wizard. I've thought about I've thought about building that myself. If you're playing hands though, you might you might need a vessel, but I do like the list. It's cool. I like it. Maybe we'll get paired against each other, it's possible. Got destroyed by a Goldengo Palkia deck. Yeah, pop pop in with Clefairy. There you go, Chad. All you Clefairy believers out there, there you go. I don't know if, if Clefable Lex was ever a good deck, it's got Poffin now. There you go. If Clefable was ever a good deck, the deck can now just play Poffin. Have an LDF Fest on my tourney? I think so. I don't know if I can make it to that, but I think so. I think there's one, yeah. I don't know if I can make it out to that one, though, unfortunately. If I'm not, I might not be home tomorrow, but we'll see. We're Maridon setting. I think the deck's okay. Um, Maridon losing, Maridon has a really good early game, but the late game might be shaky. That's the one thing the deck has to figure out. Post your own tourney? I could, but it's, like, a lot of work, so I don't know. I'd rather play in the tourney than host it, to be fair. That's, like, I would rather just do that. The only benefit is, like, I can cast it and get casting experience. You know, if TP Cyber wants to hire your boy as a caster. Yeah, he ran school. How do online tourneys work? You uh, join them on Play Limitless, and then they just you just it's just you're playing a tournament basically. You'll push you the follow there, uh, Lucidal. Isn't that on Sunday? Isn't the the Bradner Jake your heart match on Sunday? Raichu V gets pretty weak. Yeah, maybe Raichu. Yeah, Raichu losing Flaffy's bad, but EXP share might just be the norm. And honestly, Energy Sticker Maridon might have to be a thing too. Nah, it's Friday day. Yeah, yeah. A group telegram? A group telegram? That's crazy. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can uh, win this one. We'll see, we'll see. We'll shoo wash up. Winning this turn may be kind of sick. We'll go 5-0, and oh, win the tourney. We'll see. We'll see. Can we do it? 
so funny how cute this little Clefairy can dish out 300 damage. Clefairy can donk stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, Clefairy Body Poffin will be nice. Because Clefairy loses Level Ball, Battle VIP, and Fog Crystal. What's up, Yoink? How we doing? I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good, too. We're in an online tourney right now. Pulse Rotation Tournament. We are 4-0 playing Arctina Superior. And uh, we are going into the finals. It's only five rounds of Swiss today, but if we go 5-0, I think we win the tournament. And depending on the outcome, 4-1 could win the tourney, too. If my if the Lugia player loses. Yeah, anybody can join the tournament. The rotation's not until April, but it's just nice little like testing anyways. Fokker still will hurt, yeah. It's a long game. It's Lugia versus Goldengo, right? We're waiting on the Lugia versus Goldengo game. What's the prize? I think it's just codes. The prizing's codes, I think. Yeah, the pri prizing's codes. You going to play in the Tournament of Doom tonight? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Depends. Depends if I have time. Meme bodies have been desperately uh, looking for ways to make Gengar EX work. Maybe Poco Ambipom? Yo, Ambipom Relicanth would be funny. There's no reflip card in the format. That'd be funny. I did a video on Ambipom, Apom, Memory Capsule. That was pretty fun. That was a fun deck. Tapu Maraida on Amphros? I think Tapu, for now, Tapu's better because Zara doesn't play Switch right now. Tapu's probably better, in my opinion. You think Handlock Control will be back with Clippers? Yeah, potentially. I think, yeah, Eerie, Eerie might be really good for sure. Imagine, you know, imagine Amoongus Clippers as a control deck, but Amoongus is only if your opponent plays it. The thing is, I don't know how popular Clippers are going to be, though. That's the problem. We, we don't we don't know if Clippers are going to be, like, super popular or not. That's the thing. It's definitely a later tournament. I assume won't be finished till close to 2 or 3. Yeah, it's going to run a bit long. Well, when is... Well, hold on. When's the tourney at? Isn't it, like, 10 or 8 or something? The Tournament of Doom... Yeah, it's at 10.35. Yeah, that's a late one. That's not... That's like another four hours from now. Oh, the match are completed. Who won? Oh, it's three ones. Oh, so the Goldengo player won. Okay. Lugia lost? That could be good. Yo, King Dre, what's up, bro? What's going on? Welcome back to another stream. We're 4-0 in the, uh, the Shuffle Squad tourney right now, playing Arctina. About to go into finals. We're probably going to appear in another 4 and 1 then, right? Take an app and then jump in the tur the Doom tourney? I'd be down. I'd be down. I don't know if I would stream it, though, because I don't want to be up. I don't want to be streaming until, like, 4 in the morning. Maybe I'll play in it, though, just for fun. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to stream till like... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to stream till 10.30 at night and then have, like, another, like, two and a half hours on top of that. Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll see. Yeah, Dre, bro. Dre's the homie, bro. Dre's the goat. Imagine getting Radiant Zard prize versus Cheese Man. Oh, is that what happened? Rip. You going four and one mean are you losing that means that I have a chance of winning the tournament even if I lose. That's actually pretty funny. Alright, what did we hit? Oh, look at that. We got paired anyways. Never mind. Look at that. Alright, I don't know how this matchup's gonna play out, to be honest. We're gonna see though. Is this matchup good or bad? I don't even know. Oh, you have Mew. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm unfavored in this matchup then actually. Yeah, I might be unfavored. Yeah, no, I, I don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, Astrogo. I got you. How do we win this? Alright, we'll see. I'm gonna cook up gotta cook up a plan of how to win this. This matchup could be unfavored for us. We'll see, though. Thank you, Coco. Yeah, make sure you check in, though. Make sure you check in, Astro. Make sure you check in. Don't pull a me. Make sure you check in.
I feel like the art deck more have a feeling on the Lugia Brick. Lugia Brick would be... Well, okay, we have we play Spirit Tomb. That actually is a big deal. We do have Tomb in our deck. Tomb does help. Tomb does help. I, how is the finals in this tournament Lugia versus Arceus in 2024 rotation? Now that's the plot. That's the biggest plot twist of the year. That's the biggest plot twist of the year. This is where not having path is really bad, chat. Not not having path for this matchup, dude, it just absolutely blows. I'm going to restart the client. We're back before Scarlet and Violet. True, true. That's what I'm saying, bro. We're like, we're like pre-rotation. That's crazy. The year just started. True that. The year did just start. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. We'll see how this goes, chat. Can we win the post-rotation tournament? We'll see. We'll see. Hey, having to wait until 7 p.m. to start your laundry. The laundry? Uh, yeah, that's crazy. All right, here we go. Lugia versus Arctina. Let's get it. Here we go, chat. And we do it. Oh, we got to focus up, chat. We got to win this. We got to go for the dub. We won the coin flip. All right, off to a good start already. My opponent plays five draw supporters. That could be big. Oh, no arc energy. No. Oh, this hand's good. Dude, if I get an RCSV, this hand's pretty good. Dude, come on. Give me an arc energy. That's all I need. Come on. A high elo and live? I would argue anything past maybe like Umbreon tier or like, yeah. Honestly, like getting Greninja tier is usually when you start playing against like when you usually start hitting more meta decks, I would argue. The coin? The coin is insane. Alright, we need a we need a we need a top deck. Oh, they opened squawk? That's disgusting. Let's go, chat. Insane. Leak headquarters is actually not bad in this matchup either. The squawk starts pretty bad though, I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty good turn one. Yeah, we needed that nest ball. We manifested that. Wish I had escape rope. Yo, rope would be good. I can hit the loot. Actually, hitting the squawk's not bad. Two collapse, two mezzagoza. Oh, God. Are they going to get the double chops here? That's pretty scary, not going to lie. Just one. They lose a Lugia, though, which is good. This could be a good squawk and seize for us. That's the game, LDF for president. We'll see, we'll see. When you got a green tier, you play against the Dawn, Moon, Zard, and Laxstall. Yeah. I was recording a video for tomorrow, and I hit Laxstall. What was I? I forget what I was recording. I was trying to record a deck. I think I have to cook more with that deck before I actually make a video. I gotta I gotta build the list a little bit better. But I hit Laxstall, and I'm like, oh, that's how today's gonna go. First round, hit Laxstall. I'm like, all right, that's how it's gonna go today. I see, I see. And I got the double chops, which is kind of scary. Oh, man. Squawk and seize away. Good cards, please. Oh my god. And the gift energy? Are they going to read the wind? Hmm. I guess I would knock out the, the squawk ability, though. Hmm. One fire, one luminous. We'll see how this goes, Chad. I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. The finals are going to end with a bang. Bro, the two colors V-Stars battling each other out for the dub? What a crazy world. They pass? There must be... They're sitting on good cards in the pass. That's kind of crazy. I don't know why they pass, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to judge them because like, that's a little sus, for sure. DT Tomb seems pretty good. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they didn't squawk. That's a little suspicious. That tells me they were sitting on, like, a good hand. So that's why I'm like, ooh. Because they might be sitting on a good hand to do that. That's kind of crazy, to be honest. We'll see what happens, though. Judge Tomb and pray they don't hit research off this judge. 
Because they can't fish now. They can't. Because we're. Remember yesterday, chat? We got bodied by Spirit Tomb. We're going to try to do the same thing and hope that we can body them with our Spirit Tomb. Because you saw, we, all, we like almost lost because of the, the Spirit Tomb being in play. We couldn't. Because he can't fish under Tomb. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Astro. Don't do it. They might have to just read the win, which is not a bad play. But, like, we'll see. Don't do it, Lugia. I don't think they are. The Snorlax is annoying, too. Yeah, Snorlax kind of sucks. Jet? Yeah, they're just going to jet. They have anything else? No, don't do it. No. <laughs> not the fish under Tomb, bro. Astro, why? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, gotta do what you gotta do. Fish under tomb, yeah. I'm sorry, Astro. I'm sorry. All right, well, yeah. This is why I grabbed the tomb. I'm like, all right, tomb and pray. Same as last match? Yeah. I might have to Iono them, which I... Well, actually, I don't have to. Well, okay, we'll see. I might have to Iono. Still, maybe a losable game. This will come down to, like, potentially boss and stuff. My opponent doesn't have a Lugia. They can... Oh. So sorry, Astro. <laughs> oh, man. GG's. GG's, Astro. Yo, who needs Judge Path when you have Judge Tomb? That's crazy. Yeah, good game, Astro. All right. I think we won the tournament, then. That's That should be it. I think we win the tourney. We went 5-0. I think that's the dub in the tourney, then. Sick. You hope they will fall there. Pigeons are birds. Thank you. They are birds. That's true. Is that attorney dub chat with the Arc Tina deck? Did we did it? Did we do it? We won. Yo, QO JGP. Thank you for the follow. Why are you playing two and you rotated? That's why. There you go. There. There's your answer. It is Jover. Yeah, the tomb's too good. The tomb is too good. Judge Path Tomb. You know what? If we're in a meta where people rely on Rodom and Luminion, I, Judge Path Tomb actually just might be kind of insane. That might just be not as good as Path. Absolutely destroyed GG's. Totally forgot Tomb. Yeah, no worries, Astro. GG's. GG's. I'm sorry about it, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the, the Luminion there, but GG's. GG's. We won Attorney. I think we did it. We went 5-0, so that's, I'm pretty sure that's the dub. I think that's it. 5-0 wins the tourney, I'm pretty sure. I wonder, Astro, who do you, who do you think would have won if I lost? If both of us, if you went, if both of us went four and one, who would have won that, actually? I'm curious on that. I've never seen anyone reach Arceus. Neither have I. I've never gone to Arceus. The rogue, the rogue decks don't allow it. Is there a way I can see the deck? Yeah, I can, here's the list right here. Actually, I can, I can pop it up in the tournament, I guess. Here's the list. All right. Things to take note of after the tournament. I don't think raiding Alakazam is necessary. I think Alakazam should probably just be... Alakazam should be a ditto. Or Alakazam should be a lost vacuum. Highest you've gone is Ho-Oh. Highest I've been is Corviknight. And then the ladder reset. The last ladder reset I was in Ho-Oh. So. Okay. Rodom then... Rodom fleet-footed Luminion. Yeah, the tomb, the tomb was insane. The tomb was we got a lot of value out of tomb in this tournament. I'm gonna be honest, tomb is still really good. We got a lot of value out of it. Yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate that, Astro. Appreciate it. You probably I think you got you probably got second, right? If you got second, good luck. Congrats on that. What about ninja? Nah, Greninja is not worth it in here. The only radiance to play is either you play Alakazam or you just probably don't. I don't know if there's anyone. You'll appreciate the fall there, sensor. I think the other so I wouldn't mind playing another tool card, maybe. A fourth boss would honestly be pretty good. A lot of our wins this tournament were literally because boss's order just, like, is that good of a card. So maybe cut the counter catcher for our fourth boss. A third switch wouldn't be bad either. A jet energy, maybe. A 15th energy would be good, too. Radiant Venusaur. What's the purpose for superior? Uh, Moon and Charizard. Mostly Charizard, but Moon. Moon and Charizard are the two matchups where the, the snake is good in. Moon and Charizard are the two matchups we use it for. He's going to one-shot Charizard with the, the thing. I don't know if there's anything to change. I think the supporter count was good. I mean, four Judge would be nice. A lot of the wins this tournament were literally because we just went Judge, right? Judge did carry this tournament. So more more Judge could be okay. 
I don't know. It's a cool, cool deck, though. Arctina lives in the new format. To be fair, it didn't really lose anything apart from Path the Peak, and that's about it. Posters are without Poffin is a different game, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Do you really need Zam? Probably not. Probably not. I, I, yeah, I mean, if anybody played Gardevoir, maybe I would use it, but yeah, nobody played Gardevoir, so. Yeah, okay. Alkazam is, keep, keep it in the deck if you need it for Gardevoir, if Gardevoir still exists in the new format. If not, cut the Alkazam. I think that's probably the way to go. League Headquarters was very good. It did, it did do a lot of work this game. League Headquarters, I think, is the optimal stadium. If, for whatever reason, Lost Box Pile decks become more popular in these online tourneys for post-rotation, I would probably play a Lost City, but I think League Headquarters is the perfect stadium to play. The only downside is you can't use it with Trinity Charge on Arc V if you're forced to do that, but I think it's fine. League Headquarters is very good in here. Between the Iono and Judge, yeah. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a Capturing Aroma or two. More ways to find Arceus aren't bad. Again, the Alakazam is swappable for a Ditto or a Capturing Aroma. Those are all options, too. League Headquarters was worrying me. I, I, I don't know if I was going to use it, though, because my theory is if I play it, you can Lugia it away. Plus, you play four stadiums. I was scared of that matchup, though, because you had Radiant Zard and Mew and V-Guard Energy. You had a lot of good, you had a lot of good, like, counters to the, to my deck. Because you can, you can KO the Tina with Mew. You can, you can Radiant Charizard my superior. Um, yeah, I was honestly worried in that matchup. I think, honestly, Judge, Judge, Judge Tomb might have been my only, like, out to try to win that game, to be honest. It was, like, Judge Tomb. What does Ditto do? So, yeah, Ditto, Ditto might be a good replace, might be the Alexam replacement. So, this is what, this is Ditto. Where's it at? Ditto, where are you? All right, Ditto. Here's what Ditto does. So, Ditto, um, Ditto's gonna be really good with Buddy Poffin, too. So, what Ditto does... If it's in the active spot, you can swap it with a basic Pokemon in your deck. So basically, on your first turn of the game is only when this card is usable. On the first turn of your game, if you don't start with Arceus V, but you start with a Ditto, Ditto can count as an Arceus V. So it's basically like a fifth Arceus V for your first turn. One Iono? Nah, Roxanne, I don't think you play Roxanne in this deck. Roxanne, you're never going to find it, I feel like. I would either just play a fourth Judge or... Maybe a 15th. A 15th energy would be good, too. A 15th energy would be okay. Jet energy or a second V-Guard would be good in this deck. Those would all be good inclusions. I don't know. I thought the list was fine. It played well. The list was good. Arctina, it's like a very simplistic deck. You don't have to, like, do too much thinking. What happened in the tourney? We won it. We won it with... We won the tourney with Arctina, I'm pretty sure. We're the only 5-0, so we won. But, yeah, we, we won the tourney with Arctina, so. Four boss, for sure. I do play a counter catcher. So, like, we could cut the Countercatcher from the deck for a fourth boss. Yeah, maybe just cut Countercatcher for a fourth boss. Four boss felt like, yeah, I think we should just play four boss. Raging Zard, one, two, fire? Nah, not in this deck. We don't need the Zard in this deck. I think the, I think the list is pretty good. May, like, you don't really need to play stadiums that much anymore because of path rotating. League Headquarters is a good replacement, though. Make a bit on this deck? Well, I probably can't, though, because it's rotation, right? So I couldn't really do that. But the whole stage 2 meta, you're faster than other decks. That's true, yeah. Well, yeah, Arc, Arc goes first, dude. It's, like, it's so good. If you just get Arc Energy, V-Star, turn 2, the deck's insane. Especially Judge. Judge won us most of our matches. Every game we judged in, it was, like, insane. Yeah, Judge is really good. I like the deck. I, I wouldn't mind more Pokemon Search. The TM Devo's cuttable. I just like to have it, because, like, in the last online tourney, there was a couple, like, weird evolution decks like Meowskarada. This also fixes the Goldengo matchup. That's the one matchup I'm a little scared of with this deck is Goldengo. I do feel like Goldengo is probably a bad matchup for this deck. So that's, like, the only other matchup I want to make sure I'm teched out against is the Goldengo matchup. Yeah, that's why a four boss would be good. Just increase the chance of that happening more often. You get the boss every time. Yeah, this felt good. Is Arctina still good in the new format chat? It could be. So we'll wait for the results. There's still two matches left. But here is the top four. So we had Arc winning. Goldengo got second. Charizard got third. Lugia got top four. Yeah. 
Yeah, Dango was scary. I was scared. I didn't know if that matchup was winnable, to be honest. Because, like, yeah, you have to just judge and pray. But, like, you have the Radiant Zara, but you prized it, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, Dango's a scary matchup for uh, these two prize decks. There's not really any other, like, ways to deal with it, though, right? You just have to use Charizard and pray. Nah, Seapal's not played with... Seapal honestly stays the same. Shenpao, like, stays the same after rotation. Shenpao, yeah, Shenpao stays the same. It just plays Bibrol and Pokestop. It's, it basically stays the same. It does lose Battle VIP, but you can play Buddy Poffin to use it to get Baxes and Bidoof, so it's not that bad. The deck's, like, okay rotation. Like, I don't think it loses too much. No, not Champion Points. Not Champion Points. Encore? If only there was another tournament I would have played in. Yeah, but some Shenpao lists don't play Cross Witcher. You do lose Escape Rope, which I guess is, like, one card that deck used to play. But you have to play, like, Boss Canceling Cologne. Mid-Pow? Yeah. To, no, to be fair, though, Shenpao losing Battle VIP is really bad because its setup is a lot slower. You can't just set up, like, your setup is a lot slower. It's more common for Shenpao without Buddy Poffin to start with one Fridgy Bax, which is really bad. Shenpao is just better as a tech in Palkia. Yeah, but we don't know if Palkia survives rotation. You hold up Poke Trainer Pat. What's the Maridon Dark Ride deck? Um, yo, you gotta see this. Maybe we'll maybe we'll play the ladder with this for a bit. Yeah, GG's bad cats. Good game, good game for sure. I was scared of the double Entei, but yeah, good game, good game. You'll appreciate the fall there too, bad cats. I was scared of the double Entei. I'm not gonna lie, the double Entei was pretty scary, but good game. You'll be in the tourney, the Doom tourney. The Doom Tourney's too late for me. It's gonna start in three and a half hours, so. Yeah, Darkrai, Darkrai Maridon. We can we can play this on the ladder for a bit. Because I may or may not be trying to make a video on it. You'll appreciate the support there, Bad Cats. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Maridon Darkrai. Darkrai V-Star is here for uh, electric generators. So you can get the electric generators back. By the way, chat, if you enjoyed the tournament, make sure to slap a like on the on the stream VOD on YouTube if you enjoyed our little tourney run there. Darkrai for those generators might be good. That's what I was thinking. We were trying it, la we were trying it a few streams ago. We're going to try it again. See if it works. So far, so far it's been okay. The problem with the Darkrai is you play a 1-1 one -one line, so it's harder to find. Call me off guard, big fan. Love all, all the off meta decks. Yeah, I appreciate that, Bad Cats. Thank you. Thank you for the continued support, as always. All right, pretty good hand. We can go squawk and stuff. Charizard. This is the matchup where I wish we kept the Coco in. I don't play Coco. Maybe we play Coco. Dark Rider Silene. Yeah, you just guarantee two generators. Yeah, you can go like Generator Super Rod. Yeah, Silene's probably just not very good. Because then you have to draw the card too. You'd have to go, like, Silene Fleet-Footed, right? Or Silene Mew. You'll appreciate that, Peach. Thank you. Congre Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Thank you, Eric. Dark Rider could be a good tech card for even Shampao and Dango getting off your energy item cards. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Dark Rai, I think Dark Rai will maybe get a little better with A-Specs. Because the A-Spec cards do have promise with Dark Rai. <clears throat> Darkrai, Maridon, Silene, Generator five times. Yo, that would be nuts. <gasps> what the heck? Do I just get Mew? I kind of need a pivot. Yeah, I'm going to go Mew here. Because we can go Mew, Ultra Ball, I don't know. I need a pivot card. Mew for one. Hey, the Generator. And the Double Energy. Yo, let's go. So I wish I had Judge, but whatever. That, yeah, dude, I, I would scoop to... Oh, what is his hand? No, we whiff the turn one. Whiff the turn one. You hate to see it. All right, that's fine. We can at least arm press for the KO and put some pressure on. That's an unfortunate whiff. If they have Defiance Man, they can knock me out. Hopefully they don't play it. Our hand is really bricky, too, which is not good. Dark Eye Lost Box versus Dark Eye Maridon? I had a I had a game where I played against Roaring Moon. I had a I had a game with this deck where I was playing against Darkrai Roaring Moon. It was a battle of the Darkrai decks. All right, tourney's over, chat. It's officially finished, and we won it. Let's go. Insane, Arctina. 
Yeah, they drew the nuts. They got the fish. The fish is good, though. That's a good boss target. All right, we're hoping they don't play Defiance Band. Do you think they play a chat? Most Sardless don't, but the latter is like a random crapshoot. You never know what they got. Yeah, GG's, bad catch, GG's. Ark lives in the rotation? Maybe. Maybe it does live. Countercatcher Rodom. They have the Countercatcher. They didn't play it. I need to get Darkrai, but I can't bench it right now. Honestly, if we can get boss next turn. We can, like, boss the fish up, knock it out. Or even just count Pidgeot. It would be good. We'll see. Really hoping that they can't kill Iron Hands this turn. Or they can't do Countercatcher. They did discard one, which tells me maybe they don't have it. Do they have the Rare Candy Pidgeot combo, though? Hitting the Zard here isn't, uh, isn't bad either, to be honest, depending on the outcome of the scenario. No, they have the counter catcher. Crap. Damn it. That's annoying. That's frustrating. I needed that Mew. No. This is bad. This is bad. If we weren't bricking off that Iono, we might have been chilling. This is pretty awkward, though. Not going to lie. What are we top deck? It's not helping. Not like this, chat. I just like pray they don't have boss. I don't know, this is bad. I can put Bravery Charm on. They can't knock me out. They have to have a boss here, so I guess this maybe works in our favor. Yeah, they have to have a boss here. They can't one-shot Iron Hands. They have to have boss or vacuum in their four-card hand. They probably have it, but we'll see. Does Charger just always have it? Answer is yes. Yeah, hand clippers is really good. I agree. Well, especially with Amoongus, you know, if Amoongus becomes a tech card because of hand clippers, that'd be hilarious. Iono, let's go. Insane Iono. That's so good for us. But what do we got? Flat okay, that's not bad. I'll take it. Do they raw draw the, the Pidgeot candy? Dude, no way. No way, bro. Do they actually... No, they're just going to have the Charizard, right? No shot. Dude, how do you get the world's greatest Iono? Nah, I refuse to believe it. All right, good. I was going to say. There's no shot. Yo, appreciate that firewall. Yeah, we won. We won the post row tourney with some classic old um, Arctina. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you. I'm going to get dark right here. Yeah, because we want to try to turbo, because we want to go knockout and then make sure we can Raichu next turn. Oh, the Jenny whiff. Damn it. That's fine. We got Darkrai. It's all good. EXP share is a fantastic find. Rope 2. All right, it's not a bad hand. All right, let's see if they have... They, they didn't grab a Charizard, so... I mean, depending on that one card in there. Oh, that one card's an Arvin, I bet. That one card's probably an Arvin. Let's see what we got off the prizes. Collapse research. I bet you that one card's an Arvin. That's why they got Pidgeot last turn. They probably got an Arvin off that. That's fine. We can ride to them next turn, most likely. Yeah, it is an Arvin. I was right. Can they get back-to-back -back Charizards? Maybe. We just have the... To... I don't know, actually. Hmm. So we have to KO the... We have to kill the Charizard here and hope that they don't get Rare Candy Charizard next turn. They have a Pidgeot, though. Uh, I don't like my chances. It's not looking good. If we can draw an Iono, we can maybe do something. Yeah, this is not good. Hmm. Freaking Charizard, dude. It's so good. I don't get it. Okay. We need to draw an Iono, which I don't think I'm going to draw. I think we just lose here. They should have another Charizard in the deck. Can I draw an Iono one time? Yo, we hit that Darkrai V-Star? Cool beans. That's not enough to carry us, though. Unfortunately, I can't Darkrai for the for an Iono. I think I'm kind of cooked here because I can't do Iono. Uh, 
All right, we'll do this. All right, watch this chat. Ready? Oh! Yo, chat! I threw, bro! I threw! Oh my god! I actually just threw! I could have won the game! No! Oh, I didn't see the ant play! No! Oh my god, no! Oh no, Chad, I didn't see the Iron Hands play. Rip, bro. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't see the Iron Hands play. Crap, I think I would have won, bro. I would have won the game. No, dude. Oh. Rip. Okay, yeah, that sucks. I actually just threw. I actually might have won the game there. It's unfortunate. I think I would have won that if I didn't throw. Rip. That was probably... That was most likely going to be GG's. Assuming that I can... Because I had double generator plus Flaffy. Yeah, I just threw so hard. I got to hope they don't have a rare candy star, but they obviously have it. Dang it. Yeah, Darkrai. Darkrai with Maridon. Get you back two Jennies. I threw, though. I threw. I could have won. I could have won. They probably have rare candy Charizard. They could actually prize an energy. Maybe they don't have the resources to pull this off. No, that that's not good. Yeah, I didn't see the Iron Hands play. Because I, I was like, I was on three prizes, and I was like, oh, I lose. But I was I forgot about Iron Hands on the Luminion, and yeah, that's game. They had Super Art Ultra Ball in their hand. That is ridiculous. Damn it, bro. Yeah, I actually could have won there if I went Iron Hands. We did win the tournament. Yeah, we did. We won it. We won it. We went 5-0. and oh. we, won, we won the tourney with Arctina. Is Dialgodon good to play an attorney? In Expanded? I mean, maybe. I don't really keep up with much Expanded at the moment, but maybe. That's sad. I could have won. I did win the tournament. That's true. We may have lost to Charizard, because Charizard just is the worst deck ever created, but we won the tournament. I actually could have won there. All I had to do was get three energy off double generator. I threw... I totally forgot Iron Hands could have won us the game there. F. Nah, don't worry, chat. No more throws. <laughs> no more throws. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot Iron Hands could have won us the game. It's all good, though. They're playing Boss Pidgeot. Boss Pidgeot wouldn't have mattered. It had to be Boss the Luminion. I could have won with Amy very much. I was just too silly to see it. Then Zard against anything true. Oh, another Zard deck too, bro. We just hit nothing but Zards. Our start's not bad though, as long as we don't price squawk. I don't like drawing two Ionos, not like this. Hmm. Rip, rip, rip. That's fine. We'll figure something out. The stones, bro. God damn, bro. They have all that? Wow, dude. I cannot. Why does Charizard draw so well? That's crazy. All right. Hopefully Squawk is in prize. Bro, okay. Well, looks like we're Iona Wing. All right. He's in there. Do we have Darkrai? Darkrai's in there. Okay, cool. Him a ride on. See, this is where like Judge would be nice, but we don't have Judge. Three Ionos. The game's like, nah, here, have all of them at once. So I'm like, all right, bet. Yeah, I needed all my Ionos, don't worry. It's, it was all part of the plan. I don't think I should have attached that there, to be honest, because I might whiff. We'll see. World's greatest Iono? Eh, it's okay. Generator? One energy? We have to lose Super Rod and put energy back. Maybe we should have benched the uh, thing, but I might need Dark right here. Ah, oh, we whiffed. Dang it. The whiff is real. It's going to pass. 
That's not good. Hopefully they don't knock me out here. Hopefully they turn to surprise this turn. That's from well, uh, Squawkabilly might be dead. Squawk, yeah, Squawk's is not on our side today. Yeah, thank you, Ethos. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we'll see what happens. Didn't happen? Nah, we just didn't have the luck on our side today, chat. Not like this. That's fine, though. I wish I won that. Dude, if I saw that Iron Hands game, that last game, dude, I'm sad I didn't see that. I'm, like, sad. I kind of, bro, I just forgot Iron Hands can take three prize on a fish. I'm I'm sad about that, because that, that probably would have been the dub. Assume, because we had Rod, three energy, double generator with Darkrai. Dude, we probably would have won that. Dang it. Now I'm even, now, now it seems now it's going downhill. It's going downhill. They have Rare Candy Boss, Rare Candy Pidgeot, plus, or Rare Candy Charizard, Rare Candy, okay, they don't, okay, good. Because they knock out Squawk, it's bad. Yo, Koi's, what's up? It's going good. We uh, won an online tourney with, uh, we won a Pulse Station online tourney with Arctina Superior. We ended up winning at the tournament. Now we're just playing the ladder. We're trying to have ride on Darkrai. Pardon me. My telly being sure. It's unfortunate to get the amp. They only had one Mander down, too. Rip. Can you try to try to arc Poppy deck today? I don't know about today. I'm not sure about today, but maybe at some point. Yo, what's up, Adrian? My day's going good. Hope you're having a good day, too. We're chilling the ladder right now. We just played an online tourney, but now we're chilling the ladder with some Maridon Darkrai, which not going great so far. Oh, they just had the stones, eh? Wait, did they not get Rare Candy Charizard? Wait, what? No Rare Candy? Oh. Well, I guess I don't want to take the first knockout, but now I can amp. Yeah, now I can amp potentially. Dude. Not the generator whiff. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Now I get no switch? Bro, come on. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. Or maybe I shouldn't have put the energy here. Yeah, I misplayed my end. Silly, silly me. Where are my matches? Uh, Goldengo, Lugia, Shempow... Charizard and Roaring Moon. Yeah, F in the chat. We got the got the W's in the shot, but now we got the F's in the chat. We're playing against Charizard, bro. They they post rotation Char or pre rotation Charizard. They are the best deck in the format. Nothing I can do, bro. They're the main character. There's gonna boss here. I'm just gonna scoop. We can't win. Just got the mission pieces of the Charizard deck. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good deck. Yeah, we just had the classic Maridon draws, bro. Not like this. Yo, no retreat. What's up? Tap Coco? Nah, no Coco. We might have to add that, though, to be honest. But if it starts playing Switch, the Coco's useless. But we might have to start playing Coco in here. The idea of the deck is because you have double generator with Darkrai, you can, you can afford to play two hands and two Raichu because you have the extra energy. But I don't know, man. Yeah, we just streamed a post rotation tournament. The tourney's over. We had actually we, we won the tournament with Arctina, but now we're just chilling on the the ladder right now and just vibing out for a bit. We'll see how it goes. Variation of Goldengo? Yeah, it was, it was Palkia. It was like Palkia with like Basket Legion. Yeah, we play one super rod. Play one super rod. All right, what do we got? Ooh, okay, good start. Going second. This hand's insane. It's a pretty good hand. I like it. I like it. I rate it. Let's see, what we're playing against here. Mew. All right, we know it's not Charizard. That's good. Before it's Charizard, and I'm like, oh, never mind. It is Charizard. Look at that. Nah, we'll see. 
It's probably Roaring Moon. Yo, my, this might be a battle of the Darkrai decks, actually, because this might be a Moon Darkrai deck. So it might be Darkrai versus Darkrai. You got this? Maybe. Norm against Moon. Moon's a fine matchup for this deck, I think. This is basically just a two-prize race. This is a two-prize race. This matchup is basically just who who can take two prizes the fastest. That's essentially what this, this is. Who can take two prizes faster? Hate Roy Moon? I don't mind Roy Moon. Moon's fun. Do you prefer Morpeko or Mew? Both. Why not both? I think Mew's still good, and Moon is Moon. Moon really benefits from Mew. I think both are good options. I think having both is fine. Because then you have two for your, for your Pippets. Nest Ball Luminion under Path. That doesn't even work. Even if you Nest Ball for it, you can't even get Luminion. You can't even use Luminion under Path anyways. You can't even use you can't use Luminion with Nest Ball. That's that's crazy. Maybe they needed it for Four Steel Stone though. Okay, they have the nuts. Double VIP with an Ultra Ball. Not bad. Let's see how this goes. They're gonna go into Greninja. We have to amp them very much. That's the plan. I mean, I've I've done that before where I've nest ball for Luminion literally to play a Forest Seal Stone. I've done that before. Sometimes you gotta do it. And and, and at that point, if you're Forest Seal Stone for a supporter, you're essentially doing the same thing you were doing anyways with Luminion. So technically it's the same thing. In a weird, weird way, it's the same thing. Ooh, they stay in the active. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to Fleet Footed first, so I can maybe discard a better card. Okay. Grab the Dawn. Do we have Darkrai? We do. Okay, cool. Probably have to try to Maride on this. It's fine. We'll go Mareep. Do I want to get Iron Hands? I don't think I really need Iron Hands. We need The one thing we need to for sure is Zap those. One energy. Hopefully we don't whiff this knockout. Whiffing the knockout turn one is really bad. Okay, here we go. Squawk and seize. Eh, not like this. Dude, what? Come on, no generator? Dude, these Maridon hands, bro, I tell you, they're so bad. Oh my god. That's such a big fat F in the chat. I probably should have thinned out a Zapdos earlier, but I was like, what if I, I might want to bench Darkrai? That sucks. Maridon draws are real. Thoughts on Noivern? Noivern's okay. That was a dirty whiff. I dude, we drew 13 cards and only one generator. That's literally the Maridon experience in a nutshell. That's that's literally the Maridon experience in a nutshell, basically. Noivern, Lost Noivern's cool. I've seen it with, like, Roin Moon. Maybe maybe it's a video idea. Who knows? We'll see what's up. It's a cool deck, though, for sure. I like it. Noivern, Noivern's, like, kind of an underrated card. It's not, like, the greatest card ever. It's, like, kind of like Mascarada. It's, like, in the middle. Like, if people were to play it, I could see it. I could see it. Like in the middle. You can path lock and prevent basics from hitting. Yeah, that seems kind of decent. Ooh, nice. Another, they're playing a lot of supporters. Jeez, three researches? They got it all. Maridon moment indeed, Shuri. Yeah. That's fine. Honestly, it's not the end of the world, but we'll see. We can draw an energy. We can just boss with Maridon, which is good. I kind of want Mareep to live. Losing Mareep here feels so bad. It's like, Flaffy's... I mean, it's just a good card. What can I say? It's a good card to have. But they might not take the first one prize knockout. Because obviously, it's we're just kind of baiting them. Yeah, we need to draw... Well, we just have a knockout anyways, right? We have boss plus Flaffy. We scale the moon next turn. Do they have anything? 
<laughs> King Drake Cloud with the no cursing. Lol. Okay, let's see. Do they have a knockout? I don't think they do, but we'll see. They have an Iono. That's annoying. I lose my Flaffy and Rope and Boss. F. We're playing uh, Maridon with Darkrai. Speak of the devil. There he is. We're going to lose him, though. We have to get a Super Rod to get him back. That was a really good Iono. No, dude. See, that's so annoying. Roy Moon with Iono is cringe. Because, like, the deck should never play it, but it just does. Hmm. Ah, uh, I need Zapdos. Can't really afford to get rid of that. I kind of want to protect Flaffy. And I'm losing a switch, but I have to research. No boss for next turn, it's unfortunate. I need a boss so I can boss next turn. I need the first two prize KO. I can't keep playing chicken forever. Play Maridon EX. I wonder what card will replace Flaffy. We'll have to see. Yeah, it gets two items. He used the use the Dark Eye to get back two electric generators, basically. It's been decent. When you get to use the Dark Eye, it's actually decent. Like it's pretty good. Okay, good Pokey stop. Mills the top three card of their deck. Not bad. If they boss knock me out, it's going to be kind of annoying. Because that's what I'm worried about, bro. Because they're playing like a... They're playing Roy Moon with a bunch of random supporters. Which is not good. Hmm. No Sky Seal for Darkrai? You can't play Seal Stone with Darkrai because you're using Darkrai's V-Star power. Oh my god, dude. Don't have the boss. Please don't have the boss. Roy Moon isn't supposed to randomly draw these supporters. No, come on. They have the frenzy gouging to KO me. This is bad. So cringe. I hate Roy Moon when they play these random supporter cards. Because, like, bro, you're supposed to Sada, bro. You're not trying to Iono me. It's so annoying. Ridiculous. The pokey or the expansion share doesn't even work. Wow. That's not good. It's not good, chat. Oh my god. Okay, we can bench Darkrai, which is sweet. It's got hidden energy here, I guess. Energy? Okay, generator, there you go. Okay, there we go. Making it up. All right, let's go. We're we're getting we're getting somewhere. Hopefully. I already know I'm an Iona of Sada though, because I haven't played one yet. It's so annoying. Don't do it. No Sada. Okay. I can't get the Dark Ride back, right? I have to I have to get Raw to get Dark Ride. I might need the Dark Ride V Star for this matchup for Raichu, but I don't know if we can win anymore. We're really far behind. We needed them to knock at the first two prize KO. Four hundred tickets he had left. I had a lot of tickets on TCO too, yeah. Yeah, we ended up winning the tourney, Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah. We ended up winning it. We beat a Lugia in the finals. Fear Tomb and Judge were really good in this tournament, so I liked it. Yeah, see they still got a Sada anyways, bro, like I said. Unfortunate. I have to ride to them here. Can I do that? Maybe? If I can draw a ride to, we can technically knock this thing out. Yeah, I just tie one of them into the bananas, bro. Four seal stone sada. Sure, I forgot about the tomb. The tomb was very good. Yeah, the tomb was MVP for sure. Can I need voice crack? I need Raichu here. Because I can go Dark Ride this turn to try to Raichu them. It's not Raichu. Raichu. D Come on, dude. Not the energy. I need those, bro. Come on. Ah, <sighs> dude. Maridon draws are real, chat. Actually, just real. ridiculous 
Could I own him? I'm gonna have to. You need to get another generator here to knock him out. You whiffed. Did I whiff the KO? No, I have the knockout. Yeah, but I wanted to go I wanted to go super rod, dark Rai, Arvin, and get Raichu out, and then double generator and try to build up energy. I guess this works, but it might be a little too late. We'll see though. Alright. They need to not just win. Well, oh, they still have that four seal stone. Okay, I just lose. They just win with boss. Never mind, I lost. Wait, do they still I think they have the four seal stone. Have they used it yet? I can't tell. They just win with Moltres on Squawkabilly. Yeah. Okay, maybe they don't have two boss, though. Maybe they don't play two boss. Maybe they don't have two boss. We'll see. Does Frenzy Gouging block CXP share? All right, do they have another boss in the deck? Do they play two boss? Yeah, that sucks, dude. The Roy Moon with the Iono, dude. Because, like, you, bro, you never get Iono when you're playing against Moon. Clap Stadium maybe would have won me the game there. F. I don't know. The deck's cool. We are getting some atrocious Maridon draws. But anyways, chat, it's going to wrap it up for me tonight. A bit of a shorter stream. I didn't think the online, I didn't think the post road training was going to be so short, but it was. But I'm going to head off for the night, chat. I got to work on some videos and stuff. I'm going to work on some check uh, some blah, 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 some second channel post rotation content. But uh, that'll be it for me, chat. Uh, I'm going to head off for the night. Um... Bit of a shorter stream today, but I will try to stream again this weekend. If I'm not going out tomorrow, maybe we'll do another tournament. We'll see though. But we did win the uh, we did win the the tournament, so it was a success. It was a success. All right, who's on right now that we can raid? Azul streaming, or we'll raid Azul. All right, chat. That's it for me. I'm heading out for the night. Um, stream vod will be on YouTube if you want to watch it afterwards. Yeah, I'm going, I'm, I'm heading out. I got to work on some videos for this weekend on the channels. So I'm going to do that for now. But that'll be for me, chat. Won the tournament. Postertation arc pile seems good. Hopefully they do more postertation tourneys. It was a shuffle squad tournament, so maybe they'll do more. But thank you for all the follows and subs tonight on YouTube. If y'all enjoyed the stream over on YouTube, make sure to slap that like button and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's it for me, chat. I'm going to head out for the night. I will be back hopefully later this weekend. Um, We'll see. Might stream tomorrow. No stream on Sunday because I want to watch the Isaiah Bradner, Jake Earhart match. Or maybe I'll stream in the afternoon on Sunday. We'll see. I don't want to stream when Azul's streaming because I want to watch the Bradner match. So that'll be the next one. But that'll be a chat. Thanks, Tom. Bye. And I'll catch you all on another stream soon. Tourney dub feels good. I like it. Paid off eventually. And Dark Tina is pretty decent still in the new format. So there you go. All right, chat.